hands, guys. Jazz <laughs> hands. Look, Walter. Walter's doing jazz hands. Kenny's doing yeah, jazz hands. Every kind of hands we can do except the bad ones. <laughs> we are live. I hope you got your big girl panties on. Our special guest tonight is Glock Guy 226 right there. Kenny's joining us live from the Who Moved My Freedom podcast, which is live from the Big Daddy Gun Studios right there. So what's up to everyone out there? This is like episode, I think it's episode 92. No, 93. Yesterday was 92. Episode 93 of the Who Moved My Freedom podcast. So there you go. Getting up there, close to that 100. Yeah, yeah what yeah, happens at 100? What are we going to do? I don't know. Should we Should we do something <laughs> properly? Do something? Yeah, you got to do something. Hey. <laughs> we threatened to do oh, something geez. on 69, and we did nothing on 69. So. I know. 69, that would have been good. Yeah, yeah we 69. forgot about it, actually, I think. Yes, I think we didn't realize it was episode 69 until it was happening. And <laughs> it was at this then. rate, it'll be episode 169. Well, I, say, like, Hank Strange, I can't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So we have Glock Guy, Glock Guy, excuse me, 226 on YouTube. That's Kenny. His uh, YouTube channel's in the description. I want to encourage everyone to go over there and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Um, we are going to talk to him about his YouTube channel, what kind of videos he does, as well as stuff going on in the news. Walter's here, obviously, so we're going to talk to Walter. You know, or Walter will talk to us. <laughs> Walter will talk to us. That's more like it. Um, we've got guns. If you look in the background, on the tactical walls, tactical wall, the mod wall, I should say, there is a gun. Do you guys see that? Do I need to light it up for you? Now I can this, see it, yes. Yeah, this is the little flash, tease right. right here, so it will be. We will look at this gun. Who knows what it is just from looking at it right there on the wall. Okay, so we will we'll talk about that. That's the tease to get everyone involved. I want to encourage everyone to click thumbs up. Click the thumbs up on this. Walter, Kenny, mm -hmm. you guys click the thumbs up I'm working on, it. I'm on the working video. On. I gave you guys a link to this, so um, if you can link to it in like another window, Click the thumbs up, everyone out there, click it, share it, share it up. I think I just shared up some stuff. Um, uh, you know, I'm gonna shout out everyone that's in the chat right now. Uh, let me start with uh, Archangel, he was first, so I'm gonna shout out Archangel. Vanessa Kitty, also in the chat, what's up? What's going on, Vanessa Kitty? The Tyvin Show is in there and he just sent me a message. Tyvin Show said we just hit 56,000 subscribers on the YouTubes. Oh, nice. Wow. So very nice. Thanks to everyone out there. 56,000 thank yous to everyone out there. <laughs> Congratulations. I think Walter was the 56,000th and one <laughs> person to subscribe. And then all I get is grief. I don't get anything <laughs> else but grief. <laughs> that's what I'm here for, man. I know, I know. That's, you know, I that's keep how, me in line. That, yeah, making the blood boil. That's ah. my job. Yeah, you know, making sure to aggravate you. But yeah, that's very cool. Um, that's awesome. I'm, um, you know, I'm always honored that so many people are subscribed to the channel and follow it and all of that kind of stuff. It's really not easy to do that, as you know, Kenny. No, it's not. You know, you're you're relatively new in the YouTube thing, right? Yep. Yeah, I think uh, here in a few weeks will be my one year since I, you know, uploaded my first video. Cool. And how many subscribers do you have? Um. Around five thousand to two or three hundred, somewhere in there. Okay, well, that's two, cool. now it's now it's one more. I can yeah. tell you that. So. There yeah. we go, Walter. Thank you, Walter. Yeah. Walter, subscribe to you. Now there's going to be a flood, a general <laughs> onslaught of subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be hitting that fifty thousand before you know it. True, that's good. That'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. So let me. Then I'll get. Show. Then I'll get him a fifty cal. We'll make a video. Oh, oh hey. yeah. I'll right. fly down to Florida okay. for that one. <laughs> Dude, let me tell you, Kenny will go and hit that mark and show up on your doorstep. Oh, Where's right, my 50, then. dude? Hey, and that PPSH 41, or both uh, of them. Oh, yeah. now, hold on a second. You're going to have to hit a million for that one. <laughs> uh, come on now. I think I could sell a million of those if I could build those. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's That's been a dream gun of mine for as long as I can remember. Even if I could build a little semi-auto like that, I think I wouldn't be able to make enough of them. So, yeah, I think I think you should. I think we should figure yeah, out some it. way. Uh, well, I have some I have some ideas, but it, I might take financial backing. I don't know. Yeah. So, and for anyone who doesn't know, we can talk about it a little bit today. I don't know if you have it there with you. Probably not. Right. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I'm but sorry. Um, there is a video up on my channel. If you search PPSH 
41 Shorty. You will see the video we're talking about. It's a pretty cool video, so I encourage everyone to go watch that. Let me continue shouting out everyone. I did say the Tyvin show. Thanks for noticing that we crossed over the 56,000 mark Tyvin. Greg 98K, what's up? Razor JB in the building. What's going on, Razor JB? Joe Carpenter, uh, Chris Bullis, uh, Larry Dosario, Mark Wagner, Tango Hunter, Lock and Load Lifestyle, Screaming Skull Saloon. Also in here, let's see who else. Kentucky Firearms Network, Harry's Holsters. Says, how's everyone doing? What's up, Harry's Holsters? What's going on, Harry? Fox truck, Fox truck, echo, excuse me. <laughs> five times fast. Yeah. Sergeant Hulk as Big Toe in the building. David G, LB Louis Cypher, 904 Outdoors. Real co recoil junkie. Mm. Yeah, Jordan Poole, uh, Little Lioness, Exhale's also in here. <laughs> What's going on? Zachary Cahill in here as well. I think I said David G. Uh, Old Doc Sims. Uh, if I missed anyone, let me know. If I missed anyone, Chris Long, uh, also in here. So what's up to everyone? Thanks for joining us tonight. Don't forget to uh, click the thumbs up, share this video, and all that kind of stuff. If you're not subscribed to us, come on, subscribe. I see DC2 Mega Boost just jumped in, and uh, Imposter. So what's up to all those folks out there? Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for being part of the Hank Strain situation. And, uh, you know, we really appreciate it, as well as we appreciate everyone that supports us on Patreon. We're Patreon slash Hank Strange, for those out there who want to know. And, uh, you know, look, I'm rocking the AKT shirt from nice. uh, Forge yeah. from Freedom. That's what I'm wearing tonight. So, you know, you can get that from Forge from Freedom. We've got lots of new shirts. And as a matter of fact, I'm hoping sometime tonight, Sam uh, from Forge from Freedom will drop into this hangout and hang out with us. So I also see our friend Tactical Toolbox. What's going on, Jonathan? Man? Yeah, Jonathan. You know, Jonathan's so busy nowadays, man. You know, like, <laughs> what's, up, what's up, Jonathan? When are you coming back on the show, man? <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> shout out to Jonathan. James Arnaud. Uh, Forge from Freedom is in the chat right now, so what's up to him, Gerald Weldon? Get your butt on here. I've sent you a link. Drop in here. Hang out with us. We're going we're gonna to have, like, you know, we're going to talk about things. Stuff. So, yeah, Tactical Toolbox says, what's up? Why not? I'm, I'm sure he's over there. Like, Tactical Toolbox, he's like a, a savant, <laughs> you could say. Right, Kenny? He's like a savant <laughs> of the YouTubes. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure, man. I'm always hitting him up. I actually just spoke with him uh, about an hour ago. You know, he's he... He's got a lot of knowledge, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, really smart guy. Very nice guy as well. Very nice um, guy. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's a really cool guy. And I think he was on uh, We Like Shooting the other day because my brother Anonymous was telling me about it. Yeah, I watched that episode. Yeah, there you go. And I think they were warning him that everything he says will get reported back to me. <laughs> I think they were warning him because Anonymous really seriously watches those We Like Shooting guys because they're sneaky bastards. <laughs> yeah, you got to keep an eye on them. You know, Sean, try to. I'm going to confess to this right now with all the sexual harassment stuff going on out there. When I was on the Brownells trip, shout out to Brownells, you know, but when I was on that trip, Sean did sexually harass me. I don't doubt that. On that trip, it happened. Did he smile at you or what? No, no. He was like, it, it, it's, you know, it's a very emotional story for me. It just happened. <laughs> it's very emotional. <laughs> We were actually all sleeping in the same room. We had bunks and everything. And then Sean was like, someone, I don't know if this was deliberate or whatever, but they put Sean's bunk right next to my bunk. So he was like, yeah, now we have to sleep head to head. <laughs> you know, and he just, he just, you know, it was, it was very traumatic. It was very traumatic. You know, Sean, I'm going to have to good dude. Yeah, he is. I'm going to have to get Gloria Aldred to be my lawyer though. Oh God! And this, <laughs> we were talking about that today with my son. So you know, everything going on with that whole yeah, this, the, the guy they're accusing in, in Alabama. Yeah, in that's Alabama. the go-to blackmailer. I mean, uh, no, that blackmailer lawyer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that yeah. you go to. You go to Gloria, and then you show up there, you cry. Yeah, they you put know. you on TV. Yeah, about this thing that happened to you a kajillion years ago. Right, well, nobody can prove. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. All right. Um, I mean, you know, which we're talking about that, but I think Al Franken 
which you said you're not a fan. Obviously, there's lots of people out there not fans of Al Franken, but he's the latest victim. I think, well, there's a couple. Every day there's a couple coming out. I think it's Al Franken today and uh, Sylvester Stallone. Yep, yep. Yeah, I, you know, like I said, I'm not a fan of him, but I'm not I'm not somebody that's going to go out and accuse people of doing stuff like that or, or support that kind of stuff because, you remember, what comes around goes around. Next thing you know, it can be you. Somebody's saying, hey, yeah, you know, he looked weird at me one day. It's like, oh. So, so should we so we have like a sexual harassment like amnesty? <laughs> like if everyone just <laughs> should we just have a time period? Like There's a we'll statute of limitations on all that good stuff. So um well that's most of it seems like you know it was you know everybody coming out of the woodwork, it, it happened twenty years ago, it happened ten years ago. It's you know, if it, was, if it was that big of a deal, why didn't they say something then? I just don't get it, you know. Yeah, I don't well, if they were young, so here's the thing. If if they were a young person and the person doing it to them was obviously considerably older than them, um, then, you know, that's a pretty terrible thing whenever it happens. And I get it. You know, this it happens is. to this happens to a lot of kids. A lot of people, when you're young, you don't fully understand everything and all of that. And that's a terrible, horrible thing. And uh, it's not like it's not even funny. But no, if, it, if, it, if it happened amongst like grown up people, and when I say grown up, like I don't even think 18 or 22 is even fully all the way grown up. I don't no, know. How. It's, no. Yeah. So I think if it happens to you when you're 30 and someone's doing that to you, uh, you know, it's a kind of a different situation. Even if they have power over you, you have to ask yourself, do you really want to be in that movie that badly? Yeah. Well, oh, you know, after you get 30 or 40 million dollars, maybe you maybe do. Yeah. So. <laughs> but it, and it happens everywhere. It ha it's happening everywhere. It happens in the music world. I know. Yeah, it, it happens in business. It happens everywhere. Yeah, so. it happens in hip hop. Yeah. Like I know, I know particularly about hip hop music, and I'm telling you guys right now, it happens in hip hop music. So there's a lot of dudes because oh, yeah. there's a lot of guy, like male executives, and then obviously most rappers are dudes. So you could just yep. like figure now, that those, one out do, for yourself. <laughs> how do those coochie mamas get in the videos? <laughs> huh? How do they get in the videos? Tell me how they get in the videos. They don't do it because... Uh, yeah, I don't know how it's done nowadays, but back in the day... <laughs> well, they got to do an audition, right? <laughs> You got to see that booty before you put it on the screen, right? Yeah, that, yes. <laughs> you know, so, Give it a test run. Yeah, there was all kinds of craziness going on back in the day. So here's what... So we should just have an amnesty. We should have a amnesty, time period yeah. you know, where we say, like, one month, if everyone comes out <laughs> and confesses to their crimes... You can come out, confess to your crime, and if you do it now, we we won't hold it against you. What do you think about that? <laughs> yeah, that'd work real well. <laughs> <laughs> do you think anyone will take anyone like anyone will take up that offer and come out and, and like start talking about? And yeah. they just start fresh after that, so that's not. You know. Yeah, we might hear like uh, Bill Clinton alone. It will be a long, long list. <laughs> <laughs> I hear this rumor, you know, and that it's probably fake news because it's everywhere. You can't believe anything you read on the internet, but something about Bill being sick with like something AIDS or something. Really? So, oh, I mean, I don't okay. know. Yeah, right now, let's put that in fake news category. But well, okay. yeah, I, I don't know. It's hard to verify. You see these stories, and it's like, and it's like, yeah. whoa, really? You know? That wouldn't be. That wouldn't be if if such a thing were true. You know, um, and I wouldn't wish. Um, AIDS on not even my worst enemy to be honest with you. It's a, no. it's a horrible it's a horrible thing, you know, but, but the, life, the lifestyle he's led and the way he's been kind of a whore dog yeah. um, It's very yeah. possible. Why do I possible. see why do I see tactical toolbox in the chat saying I'm an ass man myself? <laughs> I'm missing the conversation in the chat. Lola's not here. So I have no idea what's uh, going on in the well, chat. You know. So tactical toolbox is saying he's into the booties. We already we, we know that he's married to his sister. <laughs> you don't get married to a sister unless you like you you are an aficionado of the booties <laughs> yeah you know? hey there's a lot of white girls these days with some booties no those are fake booties hey, my wife's got a real booty I, I can contest okay. <laughs> oh she's not saying that word <laughs> <laughs> also, I, we have no way of we have no way of <laughs> safely verifying this Kenny <laughs> hey go on Instagram <laughs> on social media come on <laughs> oh wait hold on a second you're saying your wife is on uh, Instagram now, she has you, an Instagram, you know. She does. Are you telling us her Instagram right now? Is that is that about to happen? No. <laughs> if, you you go on mine, if you go on mine, you could probably find your way to hers. She does a lot of makeup stuff. She does, you know, makeup, product mm -hmm. shots, and 
Okay. Things of that nature. I don't know, man. I don't know if it's like right to go look up. No, I'm not going to go look for it. Yeah, not it's not on, It's not right to go look up your, your wife. Not on uh, air. I mean, you can't yeah. do it on oh, air. Oh, damn it. it. We, everything that happens has to go out to the folks. The folks. Have to know. I get okay. If enough people ask us what her Instagram is, we will we will reveal it, and I won't do it, but I will let everyone else out there uh, go yeah. check out the Instagram. Okay. Yeah, she might kill yeah. me, you know. But yeah, your a, wife is texting you. Right? Yeah. How how dare you? you know, there are some white girls that have pretty nice booties. You know, some of them have to really put in some serious work for it. Yeah. You know, but there, are um, lot, there, there are a lot of fake oh, tactical movies. toolbox says your wife's a hottie. <laughs> well, thank you, Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, as I previously mentioned, he is an aficionado of this. You know, you know, the, there's been those times when they've accused like the older guy marries a younger woman, and oh, you got a trophy wife. I would have said, yeah, yeah, I do. I'm, I'm yeah. glad I do. Yeah. 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 What's wrong like, with that? What's yeah. wrong with having a nice looking wife? My they my wife's a jealous. trophy wife and a sugar mama all at the same time. <laughs> all the time. Yeah. That's and she can take pictures, so you know. yeah, yeah, exactly. Daily Shooter says, uh, "I hope she's not watching." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'll get a, a pleasant little talk later. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> she's probably watching, so <laughs> yeah. So so we're not getting. Are we are we getting the Instagram? Can we? The, the Instagram handle. Said, no? if, okay. if you go to if you go to mine, I'm sure you can find. Oh, now we have to go investigate. So someone has to go. What your Instagram thing is Glock Guy two two six. Now what do we have to investigate now? How do we how do we figure this out? We have to go to yours. Oh, let me let me see what her official name is yeah. here. She's hiding it right now. She's making her she's making her um her Instagram Instagram channel like uh, private. <laughs> yeah, you promoted us on there. Very nice. I didn't get a chance to check that out. Okay, so we go to yours. Then what? After we scroll through a kajillion Glocks. Yeah, you know, just a couple. Oh, wait, I see a picture. Oh, is this your, is that's, this your that's, wife in this picture right here? That's the wife. That's our. Oh, my goodness. Your oh, wife. There you go, man. Nothing. She's wrong, gorgeous. Man. Thank you. Yeah. We don't even have to see the booty now. She's beautiful. <laughs> so she whether she's, yeah, whether she's got the booty or not. That's your business. Yeah, that's it. Right now, you've impressed us all. Thank you, sir. You've impressed us all. Everyone that's going and checking out Glock Guy Two Two Six Instagram, you better, you better follow the Instagram now. Yeah, you got to at least follow it if you go there. I mean, come on. Yeah, she's been, congratulations, my friend. Congratulations. <laughs> you know, you're a gun guy. You got the hot wife, the guns. What else are you into? Well. You know, at, at this point in my life, I like cars. I, I really do. Um, I drive like a 2001 Chevy pickup right now. I, I'd like mm -hmm. to upgrade here soon, but it's hard to keep up, you know, with kids and guns and, you know, bills. And How many kids do you guys have? Um, well, she has two, nine and okay. ten. I'm actually, they're my stepkids. But, uh, okay, that's cool. Still your kids. Yeah, yeah, I still yeah. You know, play yeah. the parent role. and Right. I mean, she's cute. She's she's so cute that we can get over the the kids. I think, <laughs> you know, based no, just based on the based on the cuteness quotient. <laughs> I'm no, just saying. Right. I'm just saying what a lot of guys out there <laughs> thinking. You know, so yes, no. if 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 your wife is very attractive, you could definitely get over having the kids. Do you guys have any kids together? No. What's the matter with you, man? Are you not no. putting your work in there? No, no, that's the hard thing. It's like, you know, the kids are going to be 10 and 11, you know, well, in a few weeks and then in December. And it's like, man, if we were to have a baby, you know, <laughs> shoo, that's a big age gap. And you got built in babysitters, man. <laughs> yeah, that's true, though. That is true. I did. Yeah. Built in babysitters. You got to do send that. Them, send them to Hank's house. Um, <laughs> wait, hold on a second. Yeah. And go over to I, Hank's house. Uh, where are you again? <laughs> what state uh, do you live in? That's gonna be a long trip. Be a long Florida. trip, yeah. Yeah. Be worth See, it though for me. Like my boys are a year and a couple of months apart, so there was no built-in babysitting going on. <laughs> the built-in babysitter was me. <laughs> so whatever I had to do, I had to take those two little boys with me, man. And especially when I lived in New Jersey. Because uh, both of them were born when we were living in New Jersey, and I was doing a lot of stuff in New York, so I would have to take their little butts and drive back and forward from New York with them, you know, feeding and changing diapers and all that, and then trying to like do my uh, hip hop hustle that I had going on. You know, I had like a little independent label, is what I called it, record label thing going. 
so yeah, that wasn't as easy. I think it's good, you know, that you've got a little bit older kids, so have some babies, yeah. man. <laughs> I like guns too much. No, put some babies, <laughs> get some babies, get the babies down. Do it while you can't see. You're young now. You think you have forever. Yeah, that's you know. true. Yeah, if I were if I were yeah. to do it, I'd do it relatively soon. Yeah. See, I mean, we're dudes, so dudes can always have babies till you die. But just think about this. Like, how, do you want to be Hugh Hefner old? No. Before you start trying to have babies, I don't think so. No. No. <laughs> Not a good idea. Yeah. So here you go. Okay. So Meredith's Mayhem just gave us ten bucks. Thank you, oh, cool. Meredith's Mayhem. He says, Mr. Strange, should I mod my Ruger 1022 Charger pistol takedown version with a buffer tube and blade brace and uh, chassis? Hmm. Well, so hold on a second. Um, like to build, yeah, if you want to build like an SBR, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's not a bad... Uh, you can go pistol rifle. You can't go rifle pistol, so... Yeah. Yep. Yes, you could definitely do that. What do you think, uh, Glock Guy? I'm a big fan of the Ruger 1022. I have a I have a 1022 that I built up. I actually more or less kind of built it for the kids, real lightweight. Um, but as far as the charger goes, making it into like an SBR kind of deal, it, it'd be pretty cool. You don't see them a lot. Yeah, I think um, doesn't um, doesn't Copper Customs have something for that? I think we were talking about that before. That chassis you're dropping into? No, they have something that they. Um, okay, it looks like uh, Sam's coming in. What's hey. up, Sam? Hey, how's it going? What's going on, man? Hey, man, how's it going? Good? Good, good. Uh, I don't know if you know how to do the lower third, but if you click on the Hangout Toolbox, so uh, if you go over to your left, you should have Hangout Toolbox. Click on that, and it, it should open. And then you'll be able to put in your display name, tagline, choose a color. And then up top, where it says low, right across from where it says lower third, there's a button that you click on, and that'll turn it on. Trying to find so, the toolbox. Uh, yeah. So let me, um, while you're setting that up, let me go back to Kenny. So Kenny, yeah, we were talking about the uh, Ruger 1022. So, yeah, go ahead with, with what you were saying. Well, were you, were you saying Copper Customs makes something like a chassis system, or? I, I don't think they they have something. I'm, um, Are they I'm trying to remember that. Piece? Yeah, I think my brother has something that um, something for that, and I think there's probably a few other options out there. What was I that say, chassis? The chassis you had, Hank, before. That one that um, one? I had the Arrowhead, the Arrowhead uh, stock, and I think that they either either they already came out with one for the Charger, or they're coming out in the future with one for the Charger that you could drop that into. And then, um, so basically, you drop the 1022 receiver into those if it was a regular rifle 1022, and then you could put whatever you want on the back of it. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they came out with one yet. I would have to look. On their website and see if they came out with one to uh, to put in a sig brace or something like that so oh, yeah. but there's there's a lot of options for the for the Rugers and the chargers um, yeah. and I don't know if Meredith is into suppressors but there's actually a integrally suppressed barrel for the Ruger 1022 charger yeah I've seen that yeah but yeah and, I mean there's, there's there's just a world of parts for the 1022 it's it's insane I mean, you could dump as much money as you want to into a 1022. Oh, yeah. You can Absolutely. It's, Freaking nuts with that if you want. And it's worth it. It's a fun gun. It is fun, yes. Yeah. So I say do it. <laughs> I say do yeah. it. So I don't all the way. I have, I have a charger. So I have a charger and I have the barrel, so we're going to use that. All right, Sam. So this is Sam from uh, Forge from Freedom. What's hey. up, Sam? What's up, Sam? Sam? How you doing? Good, but, good, good. Did you figure out how to do the lower third thing? I don't have the uh, toolbox right here. Oh, so if you don't have it, you should be able to add it. So if you go down to the bottom, it says uh, there's like three dots at the bottom and add an app. You should be able to add it there as an app. No? I don't even have that. No? Is he on a Mac or are you on a PC? I'm on a Mac. Oh, yeah, you should have it. If you yeah. go over to the left-hand side, what do you see on the side there? I just see a screen share button and a chat button. Oh, and if you scroll down, you don't see three buttons, three I, dots. I oh. do not no. Okay, all right. Well, you're gonna have to. You're just gonna have to show us some T-shirts. So <laughs> Sam, <laughs> Sam owns Forge from Freedom. <laughs> for anyone who's watching, there is a link inside of this for Forge from Freedom. He's the guy that makes the T-shirts. So, are you in the are you in the warehouse right now? No, I'm actually at home. Oh, cool. I see guitars back there. Yeah, um, 
got my little collection going on. Oh, do you do you shred a guitar? Is that? I uh, I can try. Nine oh four was already talking about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So let's see. Let's see. Can we can we see something? Uh, I bet you have some skills. Oh, you want to see guitars, or you want to? Well, are you going to play something for us? You can set it up if you want. If you need time. <laughs> no, I don't think my neighbors would like that. <laughs> I want to see what kind of scales you have, man. I didn't know you played the guitar. There's my Fender American Standard. Okay. Okay. I've I've got a few. Let's just say that I've got a yeah. few. Anyone else here play? You play, Kenny? No, I don't, man. I always wish oh. I would have, you know, learned how to play yeah. guitar. You've but... got a nice collection there, man. Yeah. Did I see something with Michael? Ja oh, who is that back there? That's not Michael Jackson, is it? Oh no, that's uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Huh? Stevie oh, Ray Vaughan. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Okay. Like, he's like my guitar hero. Oh, awesome. Okay. Cool. In fact, uh, I named my uh, my youngest son um, Hendrix Ray. So. Okay. <laughs> Uh, after uh, uh, Jimmy and, and Stevie. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Hendrix Ray. Yeah. Oh, cool. Awesome. All right. So yeah, man, we we would like to hear. You know, if you can if you can play a couple tunes, we'd like to hear it. I don't want to put you. I don't want to put you on the spot. Maybe in a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay. He's Sam shy. Believe it or not. Yeah, he's shy. So there I'm you go. Red guy. I'm more of a I'm more of a Texas blues guy. Oh, okay. All right, that's cool. All right, so um, let's see here. Where were we? We were talking about, I think we were talking about uh, 1022s and stuff like that. Yep. So you know what? Lola's here now. She's telling me I have to get into Kenny. We have to, like, figure out what's your background. You know, what did you do to, to uh, get started with your YouTube channel and all that? Let's start there. Well, honestly, I've, I've watched YouTube for a lot of years, and uh, – you know, between me and a few buddies, you know, we were always buying different guns and parts. And, and you, you could really spend a lot of money trying to find out what you like, you know, as far as parts go, guns go. Um, you get some opinions, you know, that say this is the greatest product ever. You go buy it. You know, that product may not be so good. So I figured, you know, hey, I'm just going to start making videos. Um, even if they help one person, you know, it's worth doing it. So I just kind of started with my cell phone, you know, one shot, one take kind of deal. And. It's kind mm -hmm. of grown from there. Oh, okay. And you said, I think you said earlier you started a year ago. Yep. Yeah, here in a few weeks, I think it'll be like a year. Yep. Sometime late November. Oh, okay. So what's your your background with guns? Were you in the armed services and, you know, law enforcement or just been a gun guy since you were a kid? Yeah, I, I grew up shooting a little bit, you know, going hunting with my cousins and stuff like that. And, uh, Pretty much in my early 20s, kind of just got back into guns full swing. Um, I moved moved down here where my wife's, where, where my wife's from, uh, moved back to her hometown, met a new guy, and he was real into guns, and it kind of just, you know, sparked the interest back up, and it's been full blast since since then. Oh, okay. So when you were getting into it, so you, you got into it obviously relatively easy. Like, what, what were your expectations? <laughs> With YouTube? When, yeah, did we? Looks like we lost Sam. What were your expectations when you? I'm sure he'll come back in. What were your expectations when you jumped into um, YouTube? You know, did you think like, in about a year, I'll be 10 million subscribers? <laughs> It'll be the young Hickok. Yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, um, like I said, I just kind of started with my phone, and you know, I go back and watch like the first videos I ever made, and it, you know, it's embarrassing. It's like, man, you know. It's embarrassing seeing those videos, but you know you got to start somewhere. And that's yeah. I get a lot of guys that message me, and they're like, you know, I want to start a channel. You know, what what should I go buy? What should I do? And it's like, man, you know, you don't need to go buy a two thousand dollar camera right off the bat. You know, just just work with what you got and see if it grows grows from there. It, it's hard to grow a YouTube channel, and I'm still surprised. You know, I'm only at five thousand some odd number of subscribers, but um, even to get to that point, it's not easy to do. You just gotta really keep bringing decent or quality content, you know, on a consistent basis. Yeah. And I think, uh, you know, I know there's channels out there that are pretty big, like um, there's some car channels and they use not, not exclusively iPhones, but um, there, there's, there's quite a few channels that use an iPhone as yeah. a major part of what they do. And they're really big. So that doesn't, that doesn't have anything to do with anything. Obviously yeah. there's things like sound matter and, and um, 
you know, the whole overall production of what you're doing. But I think people are more interested in the characters. Yeah, what they have to say. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Well, I just feel like you kind of evolve into that stuff. You know, it's like, I guess if you got the money and you want to go out and invest two or three thousand dollars in some equipment, that's great. But, you know, you don't need all that you know, to get going. Yeah. And if you're heavy, if you're, if you're big into camera stuff and all that, then it's not that big of a deal because you're into it. Yeah. But if you're not, you just need enough to get going. Honestly, an iPhone is good enough, you know? Absolutely. Um, camera gear or guns to test? Camera gear or <laughs> ammo for the gun? guns? Guns. Yeah, there you go. Definitely guns. Yeah. I spent all my money on guns in the beginning. I, I started my first videos with an iPhone three. <laughs> So there you go. That was a long, long time ago. Okay, I want to encourage everyone to click the thumbs up and uh, make sure that you share this video. You know, while we're asking about backgrounds, you might as well ask Sam. Sam, what's your, what's your, who are you? I'm, I'm sure the folks out there, they've heard, people are starting to hear more and more about Forge from Freedom. And I'm sure they'd like to know who you are, how you started doing all this stuff. Sure. Um, well, my background is basically IT, believe it or not. So um, I used to be an IT contractor uh, for big e-commerce projects. Okay. And uh, I mean, I stumbled on the like T-shirt and printing thing totally by accident. You know what I mean? I was uh, I was actually in, in um, the Middle East. I was in Dubai for for a convention, and I was kind of feeling bored one day, and you know, near the end, and then there was like another convention like right next well it was more of a show and uh just went in and just started looking at stuff you know all the machines and all the all the printing stuff that they were doing it was all about printing right you know mm -hmm. and uh i was like wow you know this is cool if i can uh if i can implement this and and also do the it side of things and sell online it'll probably be good so uh, that's how i really got into it totally by accident Oh, okay. And uh, was it? Were you always doing gun? Because you're doing a lot of gun stuff now. Were you always doing gun T-shirts? Well, actually, believe it or not, the uh, the gun stuff is only like twenty percent of our business. Okay. We we cater for every kind of you know background. You know, every kind of thing. We uh, we do car shirts. We do music shirts. We do movie shirts. Funny shirts. You know what I mean? Political shirts. Okay. So. Um, the, the gun, the uh, the two A kind of gun um, apparel thing, uh, I started because of my love for guns, right, and the Second Amendment. So you know, it was kind of like a side project up until a couple of years ago, and then I kind of started putting more and more into it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, right now, I mean, I'm. <laughs> I think it's even crazy right now how popular it's become and how much momentum it's picked up. Right. Okay. So how long have you been into guns? Are you originally oh, from the I, U.S.? I've been, yeah. Uh, you probably know this, but I grew up in Europe. Okay. Right? Yeah. And, uh, but I've been into guns. Like, my, my dad owned, like, a really big farm. And I've been into guns since I was, like, eight years old. He used to take me out shooting birds and stuff with a shotgun. You okay. Know? So, you, I, I mean, I know you grew up in the, in, um, in the U.K. I think you grew up in England, right? Because we have, like, a, li that, a little bit in common. Well, I actually grew up between, uh, between Greece and the U.K. Oh, okay. But were you born here in the U.S.? I was actually born in Greece. Hey, yo, you are born in Greece. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So, uh, I kind of spent probably about 15 years in the U.K. Mm-hmm. Before uh, before moving here, and I'll ne I'll never forget like the first day that that I well I was probably in the U.S. for about a week, and then I decided you know what I'm gonna go into a Cabela's, <laughs> and I walk into Cabela's, go up to the counter, and of course like we don't have anything like that or there was nothing like that in the U.K. and I see like thousands of guns, <laughs> and I'm like and I'm like can I can I actually hold one? He's like yeah. <laughs> He's like yeah check it out which one do you want to check out? And I remember I, I was attracted to revolvers, right? And uh, I think it was like a J-frame that I picked up. And the minute I put that gun into my hand, I was like, this is what I want to do. Yeah. Exactly. It was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah I always, I, I mean, I think guns are a gateway drug to freedom. Yeah, right. absolutely. When, you said, when you said you were shooting when you were younger, where was that? Was that in America or no, that was actually that was actually in Greece, right? In Greece, okay. Yeah. I said my dad owned a farm, but I never shot a handgun, right? Oh, okay. 
held a handgun. So it was basically shotguns, you know, 20 gauge shotguns and stuff. Okay, and those are still legal, obviously, in Greece. All right. Well, I don't know what's going they on are, nowadays. Yeah, especially for farmers and hunters and stuff like that. You okay, know? I think I think we're getting some questions of whether or not you speak Greek. I actually do. I actually you do, do speak yeah. Greek. Okay, all right, yeah. very cool. It's Greek yeah. to me. Um, that's the term I guess. <laughs> and uh, and then there's some questions about your beard. Someone wants to know how you maintain <laughs> your that glorious beard. <laughs> It's like, you know, I wasn't going to bring up the beard from, for, you know, just for the guys out there who are beard challenged like myself. I was just going to hate on the beard, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and, you know, it's like I tell everybody who asks the same question, uh, throw away all your razor blades. <laughs> oh, really? Is that all it takes? Cause, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't buy razor blades in the first place and I still can't grow the beard. <laughs> I think we had this discussion today earlier, and I did say to you that, you know, in a way, you're the lucky one. Yeah. To, to not have the beard. You ain't got to deal with it all. Really. The grass is always greener on the other side, you know? Right, right. Yeah. yeah. I wish I had a big, bodacious beard, man. You know? <laughs> the beard and the mohawk, it would be iconic, but I can't grow. Right. Yeah, in the beginning, when I first started doing YouTube videos, I used to have this, like, fake beard thing I would put on. <laughs> <laughs> which I still have somewhere. If you go back to my old videos, you'll see that. I there's, was, there's, 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 some, that. Huh? there's some there's some other folks on the internet. There's a there's a guy that does Humvee engine swaps to Duramaxes, and whenever he's on, he's got a big fro on. He's a white guy. Go back to my white, old videos. Yeah. Yeah. Big fro and sunglasses, you know. So it's yeah. like huh? there's, there's some other folks on the internet. There's yeah, I think we're getting some feedback from somewhere. I think it was me. You're you're okay now. Okay. I, yeah. 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 So there you go. Okay, so you know what? Um, I'm gonna bounce around here a little bit. Um, I think Lola wanted me to ask you, Kenny, yep. why Glocks? I think you do. You don't just do Glocks, but why do you do so many Glocks? And then, I mean, you know, you call the channel Glock Guy Two Two Six. What does that even mean? What's yeah, the secret know, meaning to that? Tell us. Well, you know, looking back on it, I'm like, you know, if, if I would have known that my channel was gonna grow to a decent, you know, a decent amount of subscribers. I probably would have went with something a little different. You know, I don't want people to think I just do Glock stuff. Um, I do a lot of Glock stuff, but not just Glock stuff. So it's um, Glock Guy 226 came about. You know, I've always been a fan of Glocks. I carry Glocks. And I've always been a fan of the Sig Sauer P226. So I kind of just threw the two together. Yeah, that's what I figured. Like you mix two completely different guns. Yep, yep. Do you ever get flack for that? Because there's people who will probably take that personally. <laughs> no, I mean honestly, I haven't. You know, and and like I said, you know, looking back, I probably would have went with something um, not so specific. Because it seems, you know, with Glocks, people either love them or or they hate them. Um, there's some in between, but you know, they they see Glock guy two two six, and they may think that's all I do. But, um, I mean, it's gone well so far, so, I mean, I can't complain yeah. about it. No, at this point, you can't change it, man. No, yeah, that it's, yeah, no. Yeah, you can't change it, uh, you know. I mean, what are you going to call it, Kenny's Channel of Awesomeness? <laughs> uh, actually, that's a good one. That, that's so, a great channel. I'm going to have to start that channel, but. <laughs> yeah, someone needs to go reserve that right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So where does 226 come from? Uh, six hour p226 oh okay all right oh duh yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so you like the sig and you like the glock yep uh-huh which yeah i mean I, I like a lot of other stuff as well um i actually sold the 226 i had to help fund um, my benelli m4 back here i thought it was it was worth it but I, i'll definitely buy another 226 here down the road okay is that the only sig you like the only um you know, I like I like a lot of steel frame SIGs, the two two nines. Um, pretty much the, the P series of SIGs are pretty good guns. Um, I personally don't have much experience with the three twenty, but mm -hmm. you know, with everything that happened with it, um, I don't know. There's 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 a lot of people that don't like the three twenty, I guess, because of you know the recall they had, which yeah, I don't know. Well, you know, when I first started, uh, when I first started my channel, it's like I'm I'm talking about that a lot. But I did have the Sig P250s. Those were the first ones that I saw that you could take out the chassis and you could swap parts around. And and I think that's getting lost in that whole thing going on with the P320 that people, you know, are forgetting that there was the P250. The 320 is a huge improvement because the triggers on the um, P250s were horrible. 
And on the 320s, it's better, but I think that improvement maybe what is what caused the problem. But if that gets worked out, I think that's a this is not a bad direction to go for guns, the whole modularity thing. Yeah, I do like that a lot. That, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so. Mm. You know. Kind of a gimmick. Oh, oh, really? You're against that, Walter? Again, that's too that's too new fashioned for you. you you'll, you'll have you'll be a hard pressed to beat that two twenty six. No, absolutely. Um, no. There's a reason the seals used it. Oh, yeah, okay. that's, that it was always my, my favorite two two six is the Mark twenty five, which there's not a whole lot of difference, you know, from the normal two two six, but mm -hmm. yeah, the two two six is a great platform for sure. Yeah. Okay, and so with uh, with the Glock things here. Um, you know, you're obviously good at building the Glocks, and you've gotten into the Polymer 80 Glocks, right? Yep. Okay, so what can you tell us about that? Is there a secret to it? I know we, we're, we've we got um, a build going on right now with the Polymer 80. we got a bunch of, because uh, uh, Brownells has some exclusive stuff. we got those in, and we're working on those, and I've done a few in the past, and I'm always telling people that it's really easier to just go to a store and buy a Glock. It is. <laughs> You know, and I, and I have people ask me that. They're like, you know, why why should I do it or why shouldn't I do it? And, you know, for me personally, I'm a, I'm a hands-on kind of guy. Um, I like to build stuff, so I really enjoy the process. But um, it, it's not for everybody. You know, you can go buy a factory Gen 3 Glock frame for 80 bucks. So, I mean, mm -hmm. you can even find a factory frame a little bit cheaper than a Polymer 80. But I, I just really enjoy the process of it personally. I, I saw that Lone, Lone Wolf is selling complete blowers with their design filled with the parts for 149 Now, it's FFL, but it's complete. 149 so. That's yeah. pretty cheap. Yeah. Oh, so it's already assembled, you're saying? It's all assembled, yep, 149 oh, okay. that's, that's, that's actually not bad. Yeah. So you just have to do the FFL thing. You just have to have the paperwork, right. Yeah. Which a, a lot of people do the, the Palm Radies because they don't want paperwork. Yeah. Yeah, Sam, Sam, you ever built any Glocks up? I, I know that you're probably busy running your T-shirt empire. <laughs> I, I have not, man. And the reason I have not done it is because uh, I'm not. I mean, I do like all the kind of really cool racer type, you know, guns that I see on Instagram and stuff like that. But I've just never been. Uh, I've never really wanted to just make my own Glock because the way I see a Glock is like this. Okay, I see it as a just a very good hammer. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it's a tool that does the job. And I don't think that, other than maybe the trigger, because, it's, you know, I find the trigger a little bit spongy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, especially on, you know, up to Gen 4. I'm I'm not really into, you know, modifying blocks. You know, I just, I feel like it would be, for me, a little bit of a waste of money. Because, for me, a Glock is a very good carry gun. It's a very good tool. And... You know, the way I see it, how much can you modify a hammer? Yeah. Hey, but that's just me, okay? I no, I understand that. that. I mean, I understand that's it. You know, I do it as an exercise so that I can learn. And I think lots of people get into it to build up guns so they can learn about it. Or, or there's just people that just enjoy the Making sport. Stuff. Yeah, they just enjoy the, the sport of building stuff and, and, and building up their own things. Some people have more skills than others. Right. You right. know, I think it takes a lot of patience. I mean, having said that, I probably wouldn't do it to any gun, um, any handgun at least, right? Yeah. Um, I'm more of a rifle guy. So, you know, I'm going to throw my money um, to just build a really cool rifle. You know what I mean? Bigger weight and, and bigger caliber is where I'm at. Yeah, absolutely. So, Kenny, can you tell us, are there any, um, like, secrets? How many, uh, how many of these Polymer 80 builds have you done so far? Well, it's uh, I've only done one Palm Rady build. I okay. have a few more on the way, but um, mm -hmm. it was a learning process, and I, and I think a lot of it comes down to the, the finish work. Um, you know, it doesn't take much to file off or dremel off, you know, the bigger portion of the frame and drill the holes, but uh, I see a lot of guys message me, and I have a hard time with the rails sitting flat, you know, on the frame that you have to insert, and a lot of that comes down to the finish work. You know, you just want that to be as smooth as possible. Oh, okay. Uh, so that so um and and so with you when you did your build or the ones you're working on now is that where you found the most uh, issues that you came across doing the finishing? Yeah, yeah. I mean it's okay. it, it's nothing hard to do though. You know anybody could do it. It's just a matter of taking your time. You know having the patience to do it. 
Mm-hmm. And you know, like I said, I, I just enjoy building stuff, so I, I did enjoy the process. So you you just got some files in order to work that out? Just got some files and filed filed it yep. down, or? Yep. Okay. I I did use a Dremel, you know, got most of it off, and once I got close, I used files and sandpaper and. Yeah. So when you so when you put everything together and you went out there to shoot it, did it go off with no hitches or? Yeah, and I think I think that's a big thing too. You know, you want to make sure your slide is, you know, it's free. It's not getting hung up on anything before you go shoot. Um, you know, I found with this build, anyways. You know, when I first threw everything together, you know, the slide was a little bit sticky at first. You know, it took some time to really work that slide in, and. Um, yeah, I, I had a good time going out and shooting it for the first time. I did have some trouble um, with a Falcor. It was like a plus five, you know, magazine base pad. Um, came with an aftermarket spring, and that kind of gave me some issues. I ran that magazine in a few different Glocks just to see, you know, how it would do. So I plan on doing a review on that thing. Just something, you know, a lot of guys, it seems with the Glocks, like to put the big old plus five base pads on. and. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I didn't have the best experience with that. But besides that, the Palm Rady ran great, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Um, and, and then when it comes to the build-up, how many videos do you have on the channel? Just for folks out there, did you just do one build-up video or? Yeah, um, on the actual Palm Rady build, I did one video, and then I did like a you know, first time at the range video. Okay. All right, cool. So, all right. Now, because I, I, you know, I'm, I figure there's folks out there that are interested in doing this themselves. Yeah, me. At, you know, and I'm sure they'd like to take a look. And, and uh, are you very inclusive? I just found out about your YouTube channel, so I haven't gotten a chance to. Because uh, I think I we met at the um, the IV eighty eight eighty eight range day, right? So. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that was just a few months ago. Yep, over at uh, the Brownells house. Yeah. So. Six. Go ahead. April, yeah, absolutely. So did you go into lots of detail in there or? Yeah, I did uh, the actual build video step-by-step uh, step on how to finish the Pomerady and then uh, went into full assembly as well. So I tried to do everything pretty detailed in that video. I'll be watching yeah. it. Yeah, I appreciate I think, it. It's, I think Walter's actually, getting into this soon, right, Walter? Yeah, well, I mean, I, yeah, I, I kind of understand what needs to be done, but it's always nice to watch people that have went through it already. Yep, because absolutely. they can give you those little hints like grind this down here so the spring doesn't catch. Yep. You know, it's kind of like if you build an AK from scratch and you try to make it into some like FAL type gun where it's all nice and precision. <laughs> and the first, first time you go to shoot it, it fires and it won't cycle. Well, it's because it's not loose enough. And yeah, they're, they're the same thing. meant to have loose tolerances. That's right. So the same thing with a Glock. A Glock is not a, it is what it is. Yeah, it's not and a 1911. It, that's and it has the has that play in order for everything to function. Yep. So, yep. So okay. yeah, I watch those kind of videos because it'll save me some time when I do mine. So absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I look forward to I, seeing because I don't know everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I look forward to to uh, your feedback once you do your um, you know once you do your build. So. Yeah. All right, so you know what? Let's let's uh, take a, a second here and jump into some new stuff that's going on. Okay. Um, anyone, Sam? You seen some new stuff out there you want to talk about? Oh man, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I see. Uh, I, oh, yeah. the new Wilson Combat Beretta Centurion. Okay, yeah. where did you where did you see that? Uh, Wilson, well, Wilson released it on Tuesday, but I knew I've known about it for about a month. Okay. Is that the is that the ninety two they came out it's with ninety two G Brigadier, but it's a Centurion. It's got a shorter um, shorter slide, but same size frame. Okay, I've seen some pictures or something about it, and it it looks pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah, I've got the uh, I've got the full size and also the compact. Uh, we're uh, I've got a I've got a gun store for those who don't know, and uh, we're a Wilson Combat dealer. Oh, so nice. We've kind of known for a while, and you know we have to sign NDAs and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I see. Okay. It, it is such a sweet gun. It's just, I mean, I'm a big Beretta fan. I'm a big Beretta guy. Um, but this here is like, for me, it's the icing on the cake. You know. Oh, okay. It looks like a really good gun. How much? What does that run for? I like That's the about, I believe it's oh. Uh, Twelve fifty or okay. twelve hundred, something like that. I think. It's yeah. Do you do you have one? 
No, I have seen one. I have held one and seen one. Oh, okay. But I have not had my delivery yet. I've uh, I've got my order in, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, I'm ordering obviously a couple for the store. Um, so I I can't wait. You know, I'm just dying to get this gun right now. Yeah. <laughs> What's the thing? What, I mean, what makes you the most excited about it? Is it just that it's a, a Wilson Combat? Is it what is it? No, no, I'm not very. You know, with the exception of Apple, I'm not really a fanboy of like brands and stuff. But I know how the guns gonna shoot because I've got the bigger version and the smaller version, right? And the changes that Wilson Combat do are just phenomenal. You know, like it's all all steel parts. You know, no plastic parts. Uh, G conversion, uh, so uh, D copper only, um, front and back battle sites, um, uh, tune trigger, uh, you know, all the internals are pretty much Wilson Combat. Um, uh, you know, it's being a brigadier, it's got the rail, um, they've actually recontoured the Magwell as well and uh, done um, uh, custom serrations on the front and back, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I'm looking at a picture of it. It's a beautiful gun. Yeah, right. it's it's nice. Yeah, it's it's a reborn Beretta. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a uh, it's got a cut back cut back barrel and reverse crowned uh, on the inside, right on the tip of the barrel. Um, you know, it's it for me. It's the perfect carry. Okay, what's the my, capacity I, of like it? My 90, like my ninety my ninety two uh, my ninety two Brigadier, the full size. Is nice, but it's kind of big and heavy, right? Okay. And you know, being five seven, it's kind of it's kind of difficult to carry that. <laughs> um, yeah. And the compact is okay, but mm, I'd rather have the couple of extra rounds, you know. Right. Yeah. Right. Here basically is a combination of both. Yeah. Well, and then yeah. you'll have the trio as well. You know, you'll have every size that. That's there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, absolutely. So I think we're getting some questions. So you have a gun store. Um, I know you're in Texas. What part of Texas are you in? I'm in Dallas. Okay, you're in Dallas. So is this like a walk-in gun store that folks can go into? It or? Yeah, it's a walk-in. We've actually we're actually just moving right now. Okay. okay. That's the second business I'm moving in the last month. <laughs> <laughs> and that uh, sounds like fun. <laughs> oh, no. I can't have enough of one nightmare. Uh huh. Yeah, you gotta move everything. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. yeah. You go so, big or go home. I guess it's Texas. It's Texas. Right. Right. Yeah. So we're uh, we're kind of moving right now, and um, uh, we should be open sometime January. You know, we're gonna do the grand opening, which you're invited to. Okay, in January. Yeah. Um, okay. Depends on you know what part of I know Shot Show's coming up. Are you gonna be at Shot yeah. Show? That's where we actually met at Shot Show. Right. Yeah. That's so. right. God, it's been a year already, huh? Yeah, oh. it's coming around on that. Yeah, I think you got in touch with me before Shot Show and said, "Hey, let's get together." Right. And and at Shot Show, we actually took the time out. I don't do a lot of like uh, planned meetings because I don't plan much of anything. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 I remember least, we were, like texting at the show, trying to find each other. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's the name of the store? Uh, it's going to be called Texas Gun Company. So Texas Gun Co. Okay, Texas Gun Co. Okay. Yeah. Domain is actually texasgunco.com. Oh, okay, cool. But right now, you guys are in the process of moving. That's right. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. All right, yeah. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to check out that Wilson Combat at the show. What did you What did you guys think about that? Did you guys get a look at it? Uh, I was it I was it in the was it in the chat? I'm just sorry. Oh no, I didn't put a thing here. Let me. I've been reading the I've been looking at the firearms blog. That's what oh, I've been. Oh, reading. their article on it. No, no, there's some other stuff. Like oh, that let I me see. I, yeah. I think I could probably, uh, let me see. I can get, I could probably get a Texas Gun Club. Texas Gun Co. Okay. Lola. Let okay. me see. I think I could put a link in here for you guys to Wilson it's Combat it's page. So you're not going to see yeah. it. I just put something in the chat for anyone that wants to go in the chat and check it out. Right. Okay. So, um, Let's see here. What other guns? I saw that. I think we were talking about this the other day, Walter. What's that? Uh, the Desert Tech. Kenny, are you into bullpups? Um, like a non non bullpup. I, I, I currently don't own any now. Okay. Have you ever shot any bullpups? Yeah, yeah. I've ran the Tavor a little bit. Um, okay. I've I've owned an SKS bullpup, but. Oh, okay. 
But uh, the Desert Tech, that, that looks pretty impressive. Yeah, I think TFB did a review on it. So we're starting to, you know, we're starting yeah. to see those sneak out. Yeah, I'm getting closer. Yeah. I don't. I haven't seen any actually show up in a store yet. So. <laughs> well, you got people that have been waiting for you for a long time. Yeah, long time. What happened to right. Walter? He oh, kind of froze. Yeah, we. I think you just skipped or something there, Walter. We didn't hear what you said. Oh, I said uh, people been some people early probably put deposits down and get them first before any gun stores. So yeah, if, if they were smart. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But absolutely. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so the um, the Wilson Combat is just a, a a hopped up ninety two. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's a completely reworked ninety two. I mean, okay. um, pretty much other than just the frame and the slide, everything else is just is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It looks good, you know. Yeah. I like the look of it. I would have to like check it out and shoot it. I've shot some uh, Wilson Combat stuff before. It's pretty good. Yeah, they make they yeah. make top notch guns. That's yeah, yeah, that's high end stuff. Yeah, Chris uh, Young wants to know. Okay, so we got some comments here in the chat, Sam. So um, you know, some people talking about your beard. Yeah, saying you look like a Wookie because you got the big massive beard. That's a you know, it's all right. Are you a sci fi guy? Are you into hi, Star Wars? Right. <laughs> hi, hi, my beard says hi. <laughs> Um, the, the people that watch this show will make fun of anything. They make yeah. fun of me, Walter, anyone who comes on. So, yeah. Hey, man, I'm, yeah. I'm married to my wife, so I'm, I'm used to someone making fun of me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Let me see. I'm trying to see what um... – oh, someone's asking about the rooster patch on your hat, Walter. Oh. So you want the, to ex – yeah. the, Trump, the Trump rooster, yes. Yeah, so they're, they're asking if that's embroidered in or – No, that's, a, that's an actual Velcro patch. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. So, where can I get one of those? Uh, well, they're um, well, I can get you one, but they're on our website also um, for sale. We'll work something out, and and what I'd like to, you know, I like, I mean, I don't know if Sam, um, you know, if anyone out there is looking to get into selling T-shirts and stuff like that, Sam, they can get in touch with you, right? Sure. Yeah. We yeah. We uh, we do custom orders. We do um, you know we do fulfillment. We do all kind all kinds of stuff. Yeah, is there a process that you go through for someone like how I have a you know the Hank Strange collection of Forge from Freedom? Is there a thing that you go through with people before they can have something like that? You know, are you looking for them to be a certain size or? Well, it's not about certain size. Um, it's more. Um, it's more if you're like, um, you know, really active in the gun community and then YouTube uh, gun community and all that kind of stuff. So it, we wouldn't open a store for anybody. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, so you know we can we can we can help people like obviously you know with design and implementation, you okay. know printing and fulfillment and all that kind of stuff. Um, so to give you an example, if somebody just wanted um, someone that was not really known in the gun community or anything like that, and wanted to like print some shirts and sell them on their own website or anything like that, we could definitely help with that. Okay, I don't know if it's just me. And this, I don't know if it's just Star Wars noises. in my brain. Yeah, I'm here. I, I think that's probably coming from Sam. And it sounds like, uh, you know, like or it's a, like the or, Munchkins. Or, 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 yeah, like, no, it's like in Star Wars. Remember in Star Wars where those where those robots were sending the signals. <laughs> that's I hear like. A, yeah, I'm sure there's people there's people asking about it, but you I know, hear I, that as well, though. Oh, you can hear that as well. I don't know. I, is that? Um, I don't know who that's coming from. Then, I don't think it's me. It's the government. Yeah, it's the, yeah they're the watching. Government. <laughs> they're 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 watching us right now. <laughs> anyway, I was asking about that. I've I've been telling. They just scrambled what you said too. <laughs> oh, it did. So is it me? I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's me doing it, but you know. Oh, I can hear it right now. Not even when I wasn't talking. Oh yeah, somebody, someone is getting observed. <laughs> so they uh, no probably probably not it's just a, probably a glitch in something so yeah the reason why i was asking about the t-shirts is um you know like for example i'm always telling walter that you know what safety harbor has t-shirts right but i'm always telling him to up his t-shirt game yeah yeah sure yeah so we, we can definitely help walter do that yeah. well i've got to order t-shirts here 
but I mean, they're not just the one, my t-shirts are my t-shirts. So they're right. not generic as so much as, you know, some of the ones that Hank has. So um, wait a second. Are you <laughs> calling my t-shirts generic? Well, is your, so is your <laughs> website, Walter, is it safety harbor firearms? Dot com. Dot com. Yes. Yes. Sir. Yeah. I'm going to go right there and see what you got. Yeah. yeah I mean, they're not extent that, well, we've had somebody else make them obviously in that past. Okay. So, um, you know, but we can talk about it. Um, I've got oh, to get some more a, made. You have a specific person that makes your t-shirts? Well, I had somebody. Yeah. I mean, Oh, Oh, okay. Oh, are you in the, are you looking for someone to make your t-shirt? Well, I need t-shirts. Okay. Oh, so, okay. I'm just trying uh, to figure out. but you don't want generic t-shirts like the Hank strange t-shirts. Well, I, I could do that. some of those. I mean, I know what your gig is with the t-shirts. So, <laughs> um, oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm yeah. all about making money too, you know? So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't buy guns without making some old money. So oh, I understand. Um, but our t-shirts, our t-shirts are not so much to make money. They're to, well, we yeah. sell t-shirts, but we give away t-shirts too. So it's you know, yes, uh, yes, I understand. So it's promotional. Yeah, it's, it's a mixture of both. It's a mixture. Yeah. Of both. Yeah, with me, it's a little bit of both, but I'm trying to get people to understand that if, like, people always want me to give them a T-shirt, if I give you a T-shirt, I have to buy the T-shirt. Well, hello. Yeah. It's costing yeah. you money. That's yeah, I have to buy it to give it to you. Yep. If I got to spend $8 yeah. to get a T-shirt, you know, I mean. Yeah, yeah. That does or, what, or, that's, whatever. Uh, or whatever. That's, or whatever. That's, yeah, that's money not spent on bullets or guns. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, or camera right. equipment or, or whatever, you know, but you know, we – we're not this, against it. This oh, speaking of this, there's another 500 of these coming next Tuesday, so um, I'll have plenty of those things. So, but yeah. um, you know, or stuff like or like that guy. Yeah, with, that's um, the that's the tactical gnome. Yep, the the, the keg 12 gnome. Yep, yep. Yeah. So, nice. um, yeah. So Kenny, just, how's your? Well, go ahead. What's? Oh, here we go. That's the. Go ahead. You can put it up. I got yeah, one just, of those just too. Just a regular old the logo, which yeah. Actually, um, I own that logo now. That uh, thank well, not thankfully. You know, U.S. Palm kind of had a similar logo, but U.S. Yeah, Palm went went belly up. Yeah, I seen that. Went, yeah, when they belly up, they abandoned their their logo. They, they abandoned like, everything. That's a little crazy. That is so crazy. what you jumped in there? Well, <laughs> technic technically, and it doesn't count because I didn't register it. Before U.S. Palm came out with their logo, I had done my palm tree logo, but mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't register it. So then U.S. Palm shows up on the scene, and I'm like, damn. <laughs> so we use this logo, but and not officially, not on guns. Yeah. So on T-shirts and stuff like that. Because my trademark guy said you can – palm trees are used everywhere on clothing. Mm -hmm. So uh, but as soon as they went belly up, I checked it out, and they abandoned the logo. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we registered the next day. So, yeah. Oh, so you went in there and registered it now. Okay, cool. Right away, yeah, right away. Yeah. That's awesome. cool, man. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. So, Kenny, how's your T-shirt game? Well, um, I got this one on here. Actually, one of one of my <laughs> viewers hit me up, and he made me a few of them. And yeah, hold that up again. I got it locked in on you. Hold up the t-shirt. Boom! There you go. That's now. That's not going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> but, I just tricked uh, you. No, kidding. But uh, now, one of my viewers hit me up, uh, and he works for a t-shirt company, and um, I paid cost on him. You know, he he threw threw out the idea to make a few shirts, and they're pretty cool. I like them, but I definitely would like to look into. Uh, you know, at least getting some made, which I'm not a huge channel. You know, I don't know if I could sell a ton of shirts or anything, but um, you know, a lot of a lot of the shirts you're coming out with, that's some pretty cool stuff. They're, yeah. they're unique, you know. Yeah, I'll tell you what will help if you have the very attractive wife wearing the T-shirt. <laughs> that might help a little bit. I, I try to tell her, I'm like, can we get some gun poses, something? Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> hey Walter, I just bought I just bought two of those packs. For you. Oh, excellent! Oh. Thank you, thank you. So. Oh. Um, Thanks yeah, a lot, we'll, Sam. We'll, we'll talk about some. We'll talk about some shirts. I, you, you, on the website, you can see what I've got. So obviously, the the outfit that did these, which was well, I won't know any names, but you know, you don't, you don't not supposed to knock the shirts off directly because right. they kind of own the design. But something sure. similar again. You know, and, yeah, I mean, uh, we uh, we can um, you know we we can work with you to redesign and do whatever you want. You know, right, 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 right. Yeah, we we're we're an entire solution, so we have like. Um, we have like three full-time designers. Oh, okay. And okay. We, we design, print, um, ship, and customer service, all that kind of stuff. Now, the cool thing about our business, and I was showing this to Hank today over um, uh, FaceTime, um, is that we print on demand, right? right, right so okay. 
So you're not buying 200 at a time. You could get 50 at a time. or Right. You can or, get one at a time. That's yeah. cool. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, and I think you print you print pretty fast because when we when you were doing that demo for me today, you printed a T-shirt in what frame of time? Less like, than two minutes. Like a minute and fifteen seconds. Wow. Yeah. Now, are, are the are you doing? Do you do screen printing too, or is it just all the stuff that actually no. like a printer? <clears throat> no, I do not. It's an it's an actual printer. Okay. Um, we just we actually just made a, a massive investment um, into new equipment and. I mean, I can literally like, just, I can snap a picture right now and within two minutes it's on a shirt. Have a t-shirt, okay. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I mean, it, it allows us to be like really flexible and lean and we don't have to hold stock and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, um, there's no minimum order for like you can yeah. order. Yeah, so th so the advantage of that for folks like me is that, you know, we maybe we spend some time designing the shirt or come up with the idea and, and uh, Sam helps out with that fortune freedom they've got designers and things so if you just have an idea they can help you out with, you don't need a specific sketch right Sam right precisely yeah and then after that what you're doing is just a promotional part of it but they're able to print the t-shirts on demand so you don't have to buy like 20 of these and 20 of these and 10 of these and then you're trying to sell them to people and then someone wants like 5x but you don't you didn't buy 5x <laughs> yeah, yeah i found there's a lot a lot of large people so um, yeah but that happens you know like when well, we try yeah, yeah. when we try to do the t-shirt thing where we were buying these t-shirts it's like you don't think of like okay let's get five and i think how big do you guys go in the shirt sam uh we go up to 7x Holy Holy that's big <laughs> right. that's a sale yeah. that's not a shirt that's a sale yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, five, what's the main sales we uh, we attract uh, a lot of business from people that uh, are actually four and five and six x yeah uh, because we we don't like we don't charge the, the um, ridiculous prices that others charge because of the bigger size right oh so you don't upcharge for that we don't uh, like I say we don't but we only upcharge the difference in cost of the shirt and okay. that's only that's only two dollars oh okay that's not bad. So for, for a five or six X guy, um, that's music to their ears because when they when they try and like buy a five or six X, that's oh, yeah. two or three times more. Yeah, they're used yeah. to getting hosed. Yeah, and no kidding. I mean, I, I've, I've had fans that wanted to buy stuff and they're like, dude, I am literally, and then I was like, whatever, there's no way in hell you're five X. And the guy sent me a picture. I was like, oh right. yeah, okay, big I, dudes I, out there. Yeah. You know? yeah. So you know, big dudes need love too, man. You know, in fact, if you check all your shirts on our website, they're all all up to five X. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. I like it. I, and I also like this. Someone said seven X WTF. Yeah. And Chris Bullis said, so if I only wanted two custom shirts, I could do that. Oh yeah, he could do whatever, whatever. Yeah. We don't have any setup costs or anything because. Uh, my setup is dragging the image into the into the um, uh, into the app to print. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that's all it is. So. Oh, so that's cool. So like, if let's say people were having like um, they were having a family reunion or some kind of event, and they just wanted shirts specifically for that, would you do that or no? We are we are the best solution for that kind of stuff. Oh, awesome. Okay. They could send us their image like like at 9 a.m. and they can pick them up at 10 a.m., you know? <laughs> wow, okay, that's very cool. I've been telling Walter, you know, other than the gun stuff, Walter's into tanks and things like that, right? He's into military vehicles. Yeah. Right, right. So, yeah, I've been telling Walter he should do some military vehicle T-shirts. I think that would be really cool. Well, yeah, they could, they, could, they could be in my line of shirts, so to speak, like you. Um, yeah. Do you know the game called World of Tanks? Yeah, I know of it, yeah. Right, yeah, so we, we made some T-shirts for them. Uh, well, those guys are big into now um, helping with restorations of vehicles and stuff like that. Too. Oh, really? At different museums and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. So we did some stuff for them a while back. Okay, cool. sweet. You know what? Let's. Um... Okay. Someone's uh, shut up and play a guitar. Said Seven X. How the hell do you find body armor that fits? I'll tell you what your body armor is. It's called the M wrap. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you're seven X, your body armor is an M wrap. You get that's a full size Chevy van. That's what. <laughs> that's about your only option. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You get in there, close the doors. <laughs> you get one of those you're... step vans. That's what so let's show some. Let's show. Let's show the folks some guns out there. Who's got guns? Kenny, you got hey, some. I wanted, to, I wanted to. I got some guns. Hold on. Go ahead, Walter. What's up? On the up? firearms blog, I found something that was funny when you guys were talking before. I wasn't laughing at you oh, guys. Oh, on the firearms blog? Yeah, What's they, up? CCI is doing polymer-coated 22 long rifle ammo. I've seen that. But they're doing it in red and blue and putting it like in a Christmas package. Oh. I think they're red. Are they red and blue or red oh, and red, green? Red and green. Red and green. I think red and green. Yeah, 22 Pleaster just did a video actually yeah. on that, I think, yesterday. That's what they're talking about here. Yeah, I got to get me some of that. I got to order some. It's pretty oh, cool. Is this a limited time? Well, I don't know, but it's it says I don't um, think so. Midway has it. So Oh yeah, that's a great um I gotta get some because I, I could that's a Christmas gift for people. Yeah, that's, that's a great so, Christmas um, gift right uh, there. I'm gonna get some of that and just, you know, shoot a few boxes, maybe keep one in the box just just to have. Right. Yeah. Right, just to have, yeah, yeah. That is pretty cool. So yeah, if little, you guys are looking for that, it's on uh, the firearm blog, CCI polymer coated twenty two uh, LR ammunition. Yeah, yeah. So and uh, I'm, you know, unfortunately, we're not making anything off of Midway, but it's a uh, 1999 at Midway's website. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? They might. Well, I don't know. They might not do a Black Friday thing on that since it's so specialized. Yeah, I know, but they'll have they'll have some good Black Friday specials. Midway will. I, I, yeah. I, so, do we get benefits from um, a 22 being polymer coated? Does it slide through things easier? Yeah. Does it do anything? Does it does it does it the soil the squirrel less when you shoot it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. It was polymer coated, but what's the core then? Is it still like probably just, lead. Just lead? Uh, yeah, I'd imagine lead, yeah. 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 Uh, that is cool. Lead bullets, yep. Because I heard that manufacturers are trying to move away from lead eventually. Yeah. Wow. Well, because well, I wonder if that's cleaner. Hey, isn't that the um, conversation that you had with Stop Moms Demand Action? Well, yeah, we we're talking about lead bullets. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and then you got into a whole thing, and you totally you no. Totally, well, I, you upset thing, you upset Diablo. My 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 thing about the lead, and you know that whole lead thing was, you know, it, there's lead in lead in itself, unless you digest it, doesn't do anything. It just yeah. sits there. Right? So yeah. TKO five nine three says it's less fouling. Okay, it probably is with a polymer. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. just as cool though that it's like red and green. So it's you know. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's what I thought was cool. That's a marketing. That's a marketing genius there. I need him. Yeah. Or her. Or her <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, that is a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Kudos to those guys. Okay, let's. Get, uh huh. I, I tried to get you in a Santa suit for a for a promo promo, but we were talking yeah, about that. To, Today again, so uh, yeah. Do I, I have to actually come and get into the Santa suit? That would be a lot cooler if you were. In I a think Santa it'd be pretty suit, cool. The Mohawk Santa. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I guess that's two votes. What What do you say, Sam? Do I Do I have to go down there and get into the Santa, Santa suit? Santa, Santa Strange. Is, yeah. Is this a used Santa suit? <laughs> ho ho ho! Beyond. <laughs> hey, you ever you ever watched the uh, you ever watched the um well, the la the last Starsky and Hutch like the remake? Yeah, I had, I had right. Seen that ben so, Stiller and someone right, else. That's the one. You know the uh, yeah. you know the scene where they're going to, where they're disguised going into the party. Yeah. Right. So if you watch that, you'll know what I mean by do it, do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Old mafia style stuff. Right. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> LB Louis Cipher says we want to see Santa Strange. <laughs> Imposter Santa says ho ho ho. I'm Hank. Make that into a T-shirt. <laughs> Santa. <laughs> Yeah, shut up and play your guitar. It says picture a T-shirt with Mom's demand action on the front and the back. It says because we ain't getting nothing, nothing at home. Okay, that's <laughs> they're talking about moms. They're talking about stop Mom's demand that's action. Good. I like, I like yeah. that. Um, <laughs> that's actually um, Sam. Make that T-shirt. <laughs> I'm so making that T-shirt. Yeah, make that T-shirt right now. Put it in my collection. Did y'all see the T-shirt that I made for uh, Plinkster? Uh, which one? You know the one that um, one that's got Mac. Oh, with Mac when he was um, when hey. Mac. I thought that was Mac's daughter on there. No, no I'm just kidding. <laughs> when Mac was beardless. Right. I don't know if you saw this, Walter. No, I didn't. I it's didn't a picture it. of this young, fresh-faced lad. Yeah. <laughs> with his uh, what looked like his first rifle, but knowing knowing Mac as I do, he probably came out of the womb and got a rifle. Yeah, more okay. than likely. Yeah. 
But because uh, I looked, yes, I did see. I thought that was a one of a kind. Are you actually making those now? Uh, no, we're not actually. Uh, not yet. I mean, uh, oh, it, took a while, it. it took a while to get Tim to actually, you know, say that he'll. Yeah, it. did he approve it? He did. He did really. Um, okay. But it was actually after a live chat that they did yesterday. I don't know if you saw the live chat. No, I think they were on at the same time we were on. Right. Yeah. So they uh, they did a live chat together. Mm -hmm. They're doing something with federal on the uh, on the new uh, Valkyrie uh, okay. round that was made, mm -hmm. and they did a live chat, and he was wearing a t-shirt and stuff, and uh, there was like a thousand comments, man, where people were going, <laughs> "You've got to do this shirt. You've got to do this shirt, right?" Yeah. <laughs> so he gave in. So basically, we won. You know? So that shirt's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Yeah. A Promethean says, "Make the Tim shirt." Exclamation, yeah. exclamation, 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 yeah. exclamation, infinity. <laughs> I think I can comfortably uh, confirm that it's coming. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay, yes, I look forward to that. Then every time we're going to an event where Mac is there, we all walk around with his shirt <laughs> you know, on. It's what, that's what 22 Plinkster was saying yesterday. He's like, yeah. <laughs> 22 Plinkster was like, if, you, uh, if I see you and you're wearing the shirt, he's like, I'm going to go to my truck and get you a brick of 22. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm getting that shirt then. Because <laughs> 22 Plinkster has enough 22 to give all of us 22 for a long time. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. He's got like a whole warehouse full of ammo. Oh, yeah. that's, that's the legend. That's the legend. I don't know. I haven't been there. If I went to said warehouse, I would have totally robbed it. <laughs> so I'm not. So apparently I haven't been allowed to go to the warehouse, but I heard it exists. Right. So. I yeah. just thought of another T-shirt, but I can't say it here. So, oh, okay. Send the pri put it in the put it in the um, in our private chat thing, and send that's, it over to yeah. Sam. But I think that's a good idea. That uh, shut up and play your guitar head for a T-shirt there. Um, so basically, mom's demands action on the front and on the back because <laughs> we ain't getting nothing at home. <laughs> so that's a good one. And that then you were saying. One. You were saying to do a um, Hank Strange Santa shirt? We'll see. I'm talking about getting you in a Santa suit and you could yeah. do a video. Yeah. Oh, you know, oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. I guess, oh, yeah, I guess oh. we got to somehow make that happen. We'll You're see. You're going to be like the, the machine gun Santa. That'd be pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. You have a, you can have a, you can have your bag and the guns are coming out of the bag. Okay. Yeah. There's machine go. guns involved. Yes. Yeah. Fine. And you can, and your, your reindeer is a goat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good luck with that one. Well, we gotta let, we gotta make one. I've got an idea. We gotta make one where you're wearing you you've got the whole Santa thing on, right? And mm -hmm. you're holding a rifle, and then we'll put a, uh, we'll put some text on it that says, "I'm ready for my hose." <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. So yeah, I guess that's good. We'll make that happen. All right. Let's go on to some gun porn here. Okay. Okay. Let's switch it over to some gun porn. Kenny, what do you have? Well, I have. This is one of my favorites. Uh, CZ Scorpion. Ooh, oh yeah. yeah. You need one you know, of my awesome uh, new stocks. Yeah, Walter, yeah. I think you're going to have to get that new um, KEF stock for Kenny. You're going to have to review it. Um, yep, Kenny's going to have to do the video. See, I, was, I was looking at that earlier. Now, is that you do tail? You do, do you do tail hook or or is that that's not SBR, right? No, this is the SB Tactical. Okay. Brace. Um, that stock you came out with is it actually a stock SB? You know, do you have to SB, SBR it or is it a brace? Well. You can have it SBR or you can have it with a tail hook adapter on it. So, okay. So then you got to have a tail hook. I, I don't have tail hooks to sell. Yeah. But, um, but, uh, um, that's something I, I'd like to get into the tail hook. You know, I, I think it looks pretty good. I've just never, haven't gone out and bought one yet. But yeah, it's more, once it's on, it's more uh, real stockish than, than, um, than the rubber stuff. So yeah, um, absolutely. Uh, yeah. 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 Gorillas and Guns is reminding me that gun porn is heretofore known as Gorn. Gorn. Gun Gorn. <laughs> yeah, Gorn. <laughs> so there Gorn, go. Gorn, Gorn. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so um do you have the do you have the tail hook ones ready or are you working on those? Yes, we have the um we have the adapters for the tail hook. And um we're making the C Z parts as we speak. Um what you saw on the internet was the prototype. Okay, okay. Um, but the machine is turning the stuff now, so shortly we'll have like fifty of them, and um, to start with. Um, so yes, yes, yeah. So what so do you what have? I, what do you have on yours, Kenny? 
Uh, right now, I'm wearing the SB Tactical Brace. Okay. And it's on a folding, folding adapter, which is it's honestly just a cheap little folding adapter. Um, it came on the gun when I bought it. But uh, it's a pretty fun setup. I, you know, I enjoy shooting it, so. Okay. Have you modified anything else? Let's see. What's the uh, – do you have the standard pistol grip there? On the Scorpion? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I've, I've done a heck of a lot to this thing. Uh, it's the Apex grip. I want okay. the HB Industries trigger upgrade, Gearhead oh. Works mag release. Cool. Uh, HB Industries rail. And I think that's about, well, safety delete. And, yeah, that's about it. It's it's fun to play with, though. It's a fun little gun. Yeah, it's a nice gun. Thanks. Okay, so let's see. What else do you have here? Uh, Walter went off to get stuff. I don't know. Sam, I don't know if you – do you have any guns there you're going to show us? Uh, I do. I just have to probably just get up for a second. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So we got Ke – Kenny will go, and then I'll go. So go ahead, Kenny. This is the Palmer 80 I did a video on. Oh, that's so nice. That actually looks uh, pretty, pretty good. Pretty yeah, good. I, li I like the gray frame. I really wanted to do something that I, I don't normally do. Uh, I typically like my guns just black, you know, but here lately I've been trying to get out of the box a little bit. Yeah, show uh, us that. Give us a closer uh, view of that one. That looks pretty good, man. I like that. Is that a, is that a Faxon barrel in there? No, it's actually an Agency Arms barrel. Oh, Agency Arms, okay. Yeah, sorry nice. if there's a glare. But, that looks uh, cool. Yeah, it looks good. And uh, so the slide, did you do the work on the slide? What's the slide? The slide is actually a factory Glock slide, and I had a company called United R&D uh, mill it. So they went ahead and did, like, the porting, top window, um, enhanced all the serrations. Came out pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good, man. I like that. And then you, what is that? You have a um, stream – is that Streamlight? Yep, Streamlight. That's, I'm, I'm a huge fan of weapon lights. Um, big into the weapon lights. I, I don't know why, but I just like lights. Yeah, that's a good color combo and everything there. I like that. I just finished this one. This is more like a factory build. Um, you know, I picked up a factory Glock frame, and Loki Tactical, they're actually down in Florida. Um, they messaged me and said, hey, you know, we have a slide for you. And I was down in Florida about a month ago, so I went down there and picked it up. Um, all in all, pretty cool. It's like a battle-worn, flat, dark earth. But I wanted to go with something just a little more factory, and I don't know if I'm going to stipple it or not, but... So far, I'm liking yeah. this build. So what did that build cost? This one particularly, or the Palmer yeah. 80? Uh, give us both. Tell us about both of them. Um, the Palmer 80, the way it sits, is probably probably around 1200 You know, that's a lot of it, though, is stuff that's not exactly necessary. I mean, you don't have to get slide work and custom Cerakote. Um, yeah. The frame came from Exhale Weapon Works, where he gets a Palmer 80 frame, pre-stipples it, and then ships it to you where you can finish it. Mm -hmm. So um, that's something pretty cool. He does a lot of good work to these frames, though. Yeah, by the way, Legion Precision is in the chat, and they say, what's up, Kenny? Yeah, Carl. Carl's a great guy. He's actually a big part of this gun happening right here. Mm -hmm. um, he sent out the completion kit, which was the slide, all the internals. So Carl's a really good dude. So uh, LV Louis Cipher wants to know, what's the purpose of the top window on the slide? Honestly, um, it's just it's just something a lot of sexiness sexiness yeah you know on, on all these custom glocks here they all tend to have top windows yeah maybe it's, taking out a little bit of weight yep yeah weight reduction and you know if you have an aftermarket barrel or something like that yeah. you want to show it off a little yeah. bit what's the reason when when a woman has a nice uh, set of uh, <laughs> you know mm. headlights or headlights whatever you yeah. want to call it mammaries <laughs> bazungas mammary <laughs> You know, whatever horrible thing we want to use to refer to it. And she's got a cutout up there. What's the purpose of that? So you can see the boobies. You don't complain about it, that's for sure. Yeah. So it's the same thing with the gun, you know, so that you can, because why have this nice barrel in there? <laughs> you know, like if you have a gold barrel or it's octagonal or whatever, and then no one sees it. You gotta yep. show, What's the point of having nice boobies and you don't show it off? So what you're saying yeah. is, so yeah. what you're saying if you've got some nice, uh, <clears throat> You should sport them then, huh? Yeah, well, it's the same thing like a dude. If a dude had the mandingo schlong, then you know, then you, then you know, then you wear, wear the, speedo, uh, you know, yeah, you wear speedos. There you go. <laughs> you rock the speedos. Tactical <laughs> banana. I seen uh, Hank. Yeah. You posted a picture of the P10C earlier. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm loving the P10C. I've had it for probably about two months now. Um, running an Enforce APLC on it and have an HB Industries trigger. 
Oh, cool. It's been a great gun. I've been carrying it a lot lately. Getting close to 2,000 rounds through it, and it, it, it's a great gun. I really like it. Yeah, You haven't had any problems? I haven't had any issues yet, and that's uh, – I was talking to a few guys in a live chat the other day, and a few of them were saying once they got close to about 1,000 rounds, they were starting to have some issues. I believe they said it was with the trigger. I'm not sure, but uh, – Yeah. Trigger, Excellent. maybe the striker assembly. I haven't had any issues, though, personally, so I'm not sure. Okay, cool. Exhale says, wait until you see the new one, Kenny. Yeah, he's uh, there you go. Uh, the new Polymer 80 Glock 17 frames. He's actually doing one up for me um, to do my next build. So Yeah, very cool. And um, Babyface P says, if you've got it, flaunt it. So there you go. We got Babyface. I thought Exhale was sending us uh, one of these frames. I haven't seen it, Exhale. So uh, <laughs> I, don't with that. I don't want to put any pressure on you. No, <laughs> just kidding. Just right back. I got to take a call. Oh, okay, go ahead. No problem. So um, that's very cool, Walter. You you uh, you ready with your with well, your stuff? I was digging around, you know, and I'm I'm finding a lot of old school stuff. So um, we like old school. Yeah, man. Show us. Well, I wish you had the PPSH. Oh man, that thing's sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, Walter, I wasn't what on was my that? game. I wasn't on my game today. I guess. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, There's a video. Anyone who wants to see the video, we have the video on the YouTube's. Let me see. I should probably, I should probably go find this video and then throw up a link. Yeah, it's it's a good video. I watched it earlier. It, it's pretty yeah. sweet. It's, oh, oh, I I see dessert coming. Uh oh, the boss is coming, uh -oh, Walter. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. we got to sexually harass. Oh, yeah. Peggy Killer Keller is in here bringing the. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's what you get. All right. That's fair. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Walter, um, what was that uh, revolver you had? Oh, this is a Smith & Wesson. It's an old one. It's a 32 Winchester. So I, I believe it's like 32 long, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't had a chance to uh, to shoot it yet, but... It looks clean. I got it from a friend who had it forever. He was an older guy. And, um, but yeah, I think it's 32 long. So I got I to gotta figure, I got to find out for sure, but... Um, old I, Smith and, so. see, I really like them older Smiths. I had a no dash model 36 and a no dash 37. I wish I would have never sold them, but speaking of Smith and Wessons, I couldn't believe like, I think it was Brownells. One of them has on sale. Oh, Sam's got a revolver right there. I was, I don't know if it was one of uh, Hank's specials he put up or Mr. Guns and gear, but anyways, um, that's a sexy revolver. Okay, Sam, we're coming to that one. You can get an air weight Smith and Wesson brand new 38 for like, Two seventy nine after rebate. Really? Two seventy nine. Dang. Two seventy nine. That's like that's like Taurus what? prices. Right. Why would you buy a Taurus when you can get a Smith? Yeah, right. that's. And is that is that deal still good? Because I would yeah. totally get one of those. I order one tonight. The Airweight uh, Smith and Wesson. Yeah. Two seventy nine. Uh, yeah. Did you post that, Lola? Yeah, I'm about to. Oh, Lola says she's about to post that deal. Somewhere. Okay, yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't believe it because I've never seen. Uh, yeah, deal. Lola's posting it on my on my Facebook page for anyone who's interested. A brand new Smith revolver for two hundred and seventy nine dollars. Yeah, you know, it's in. Go go buy me one of those, Lola. <laughs> it's a revolver, Hank. Can you do a revolver? <laughs> do a revolver. She says, Lola says, don't get high off your own supply. <laughs> 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 that's hey that's one of the 10 crack commandments i have to obey that Look, i live i live by the 10 crack commandments for anyone who doesn't know don't do <laughs> you don't know what the 10 crack commandments are go look it up okay i don't know but um you don't know what the are you serious walter Did walter doesn't listen to biggie come on walter you seriously don't know about the 10 crack commandments i'm pretty sure i've shown you the 10 crack commandments already so if you did, I, it didn't sink. It didn't sink. Oh, yet. okay. So go ahead. Show your gun. I'm going to lock it on you. I'm going to go pull up the 10 crack, crack okay, commandments right this now. Is the, uh, this is the Yugoslavian M57, which is like the uh, the Russian talk rev for the Yugoslavs, um, except it has one more round. Instead of being, I think, seven, it's eight rounds. Nice. Um, if you like talk rev and you like 7.62 by 25, this is a, uh, this is a cool gun. You know, I, I kind of like the talk rev because it's a simple... Basically, it's a Browning design that they just knocked. The commies just knocked off. So, but um, right. you know, it's a hand cannon before there were hand cannons. So, yeah. Is it so snappy? Is Go ahead. What was that, Tim? Is it snappy? Is it what? Snappy. Snappy. snappy like, like, like powerful. Yeah. Well, a little bit. Yeah. The Torquerev round has a lot of 
But before 357, it was the strongest uh, handgun cartridge. So yeah, can you show that us? Can you show that to us again? I think Screaming Skull Saloon says the grip angle's crazy. I didn't see it because I was looking up something. Let me see here. That old Browning style. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's, straight, it's like straight up and down. Yeah, it's more vertical than a lot of uh, a lot of them out there. But um, but uh, it's you know it's a basic design. There's not much. The um, the original design had no safety at all. Aside from a half cock, so um, and then whether to bring them in the country, they added the, they always add a safety someplace, but but um, no, they're 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 old school and reliable, so you know, yeah, can't beat that. Nope, 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 all metal. Yeah, so straight up and down. Okay, you got another gun? Me? I yeah. could find something. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, all sit right. down. We, we, we were talking about the ten crack commandments. We need to go over it right now. <laughs> Let's share the ten crack commands. Oh, what, what is that gun you have? Go show, show me. Show me the Smith and Wesson Sigma, which is you oh. know, got Smith and Wesson sued by Glock. Yeah, yeah, those aren't even out there anymore. No, no. This Let's is the first one off. that I picked up from a friend, and it's like in new conditions. So. Yeah. yeah, I think didn't Smith have to pay like a Glock a certain percentage of every sale or something crazy like that? I'm not sure about that, but yeah. the but Jew they, said you were bragging about your half cock. Walker says <laughs> that all the time. Well, that's what he's got. It's better than half, a quarter half, cock. Half, <laughs> half is better than none, I guess, right? Yeah. <laughs> Babyface says uh, that gun was a. It's the Russian 1911. Basically, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And if you look at speaking of Babyface, if you look at the um. If you look at the 1903, okay, we just got a little bit of the moon there. Thank you very much. The moon came out. Full moon rising. <laughs> full moon. Some people are going to be turning into 03. werewolves. <laughs> I think Babyface is familiar with the 1903 Colt that he fixed for me. Yeah. They very very similar resemblance to the Talker of. No, right. I don't oh, okay. Yeah. You know, because they're basically they're the same design for the most part. Um, same idea, real simple. No, no grip. Well, this has a grip safety. I should, I should say, the nineteen oh three has a grip safety, but, but yeah, cool guns. Yeah, yeah very cool. nice. another time. But. Very nice. Okay. Um, where, where did he see? We were talking about the ten crack commandments, and Walter yeah, was showing. Right. Refresh my memory. Walter was showing his crack. So <laughs> that was his crack commandment. Yeah. That's definitely a segue into the Ten Crack Commandments, Walter. There's a lot of cursing in this, Walter. So if you ever go look up the Ten Crack Commandments, Walter, okay. um, be very careful about reading it out loud. First of all, that's my first warning to you. Okay. Okay, because <laughs> there's lots of cursing in here. And uh, don't let anyone videotape you or audio tape you while you're doing it either. Because <laughs> it's not going to be fun. But um, so the so it kind of goes like this. I've been in the in this game for years. It made me an animal. There's rules to this shit. I wrote me a manual, a step by step booklet for you to get your name on track, not your wig pushed back. Rule number eight, uh, number eight uno. Never let no one know how much dough you hold, because you know the cheddar breed jealousy. Especially if that man fucked up, get your ass stuck up. Okay, yeah. that's the first thing. So. So to translate that, Walter, that means never let anyone know how rich you are or broke okay. you are either. Because <laughs> it's the being being broke is just as bad as being rich. <laughs> right, especially when you're trying to be rich. <laughs> yeah. So that's rule number one. Okay? I think these days you're safer telling people that you're broke. Um, you probably. Yeah. You have to know when to show them, show them when to hold them. You know. Like, right. Yeah. There you go. So never let anyone know how much dough you hold because the cheddar breeds jealousy. So there you go. <laughs> okay. Number two, never let them know your next move. Don't you know bad boys move in silence and violence? Take it from your highness. I done squeeze mad clips at these cats for their bricks and chips. So now there's a there's a gun, there's a gun faux pas in there. Did anyone notice the gun faux pas? Clips. Clips. There you go, Kenny. He's yeah, young, but he's I'm, I'm on familiar point. With, with the Biggie. How old are you, Kenny? Because you don't look you do not look old enough to know about Biggie. <laughs> I yeah, I'm I'm twenty nine and oh, I listen to a lot of different music, man. I, I do listen to some Biggie and some older Pox stuff, but uh mm -hmm. I listen to a little bit of everything. Yeah. So there but you go. I, the, the, I do the have the Ten Crack Commandments downloaded on my phone though, I can say that. Yes. This yeah. everyone should know the Ten Crack Commandments. <laughs> So yeah, I, so the part where he said I done squeeze mad clips at these cats for their bricks and chips. 
So number two is never let them know your next move. Don't you know bad boys move in silence and violence? I believe in that one. So like all those dudes out there who are always talking a lot of stuff, those aren't the real dangerous guys. True. The real dangerous guys never let you see them coming, man. They, you know, they don't talk, they don't talk a lot of smack. They just hit, you know, they just hit you. They just get you. Yeah. So um, number three, I, I don't know if I'm going to go through all of these because <laughs> I, I probably get in trouble. But number three, never trust nobody. Your moms will set that ass up properly gassed up, hoodied and masked up. Shit for that fast buck. She'd be laying in the bushes to light that ass up. So <laughs> that's like never trust anyone. You never know what you're going to get into here. Hank's reading the Ten Crack Commandments. You go. We got to educate Walter. We got to educate him. You know? I, I think you could have said that in a couple words besides all that, that rhyming stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's, <laughs> called, it's called hip hop music. It's not, it's not educated. It's edumacate. You got to educate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now? <laughs> but see, never trust anyone, man. That's true. Like, not even your moms. Your, even your moms will set you up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I find that I found that to be true. You know, I love my mom, but you know, she's she's advised Lola to divorce me quite a few times. So, <laughs> she's plotting. Huh? You know that now. You know, honestly, between between us, that's probably not bad advice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but your mom shouldn't be telling your wife to divorce you. <laughs> no, <laughs> and, I'm, no. And, I'm, and I'm I'm I mean I'm not that bad. You know, I'm I'm, I'm good. I buy a lot of guns. I buy cars. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's going to be midnight before you get to number 10 here. Yeah. Come on now. Oh, you want me to go through these faster? Yes. Oh, okay. So here we go. I'm just going to go to number four because that's why we're even talking about this. So after number four, I'll let everyone else look this up. Unless you guys want us to do like a separate podcast one of these days and talk about <laughs> no, it. We don't have to. That's all right. <laughs> you never know. If the people want it, Walter, we'll do it. Number four is, I know you heard this before, never Walter. get high on your own supply. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no. You know, don't if you're gonna you know, you're selling ammo, don't shoot it all up, man. That's a, that's what I was just about to say. So if you reload your own ammo, you shouldn't shoot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, now, in the case of what Biggie's talking about in the in the Biggie's ten, talking about something a little different there. Yeah, he's saying if you're selling crack, don't smoke the crack. <laughs> yeah, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna you, first thing <laughs> you'll you end up you'll end up with no crack if you do that. So I mean, yeah. you're gonna end up in the ground in a crack. <laughs> well, you end up you end up a crackhead. <laughs> you end up a crackhead. Yeah. That's, yeah. I also take it as this, like, this is what I think never get high on your own supply. Like, never believe your own bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's something else, too. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, like, lots of us out, I mean, look, it's the social media world. You know, people will talk, like, when people, do you remember people got mad at Trump or the media was trying to embarrass Trump when he was running? And they said that, like, they were showing how back in the days Trump used to call up uh, PR people and then give stories about himself. Yeah. And, yeah. and I thought that was awesome because that like Trump is like a way back in the days social media guru. But he's, do, <laughs> he's doing the same thing on Twitter right now. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But yeah. the thing is, the thing about it is, you know, even so, like, for example, we put we all all of us here put stuff up on Instagram and everyone thinks that's 100 percent real. And I'm not saying that it's fake that you put up this thing, but you're not always balling out like that. Right. I'm sure we all do that. Like we put up stuff, we're shooting guns, and we don't do that every second of the day. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's that's people, tend, people tend yeah. to think that stuff too, you know, like just running through thousands of rounds. You know, it's just, that's not yeah. real life, you know, it's not. I mean, I, I wish I could do what you do, and it's like, really? Did yeah, you yeah, you know, <laughs> exactly. Yep. If you do what I mean, we really do, like, I'm not saying it. Look, first of all, it is fun to have access to the guns that we do and shoot the things that we do. But it doesn't mean that, you know, like for me, I think the thing about getting high in your own supply is I always try to tell people that's cool and we do that, but we're showing you the best stuff of what we do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You that's know, not I'm not going to show you when Lola is cursing me out because I spent more money <laughs> than I was supposed to on a gun. I'm not going to show you when I'm, I'm taking the garbage out to the street. Come on. Yeah, they, get, they get the highlight reel, you know, that's, yeah. I had to put the put the GoPro in the garbage cans as I'm walking them out. <laughs> yeah, I think you know what. Honestly, I think if someone actually saw like every day what went on, <laughs> like how many times I get cursed out by low, that would be such a great show. I personally, <laughs> I think a, you just have a compilation of all the yeah. curses. Because she gets mad at me, but she like if she gets to actual curse words level, 
Bad. Then I just shut down. I go hide somewhere. That's probably the best thing to do. <laughs> yeah, when she's just like mad and you know, I'm hearing like a lot of loud noise, I'm like, oh, everything's good. <laughs> I'm safe. The minute I hear a curse well, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> so <laughs> better get out of here. Yeah, absolutely. So um okay, Sam, did you bring up your guns? Because I know you were showing us something in the background there. Yeah, I'll keep track with this Ten Commandment stuff. So yeah. <laughs> 44. 44 uh 44 magnum that's beautiful oh, no, so I like that's that. a, yeah hold that right that is so I cool. like that. little 629 yeah performance center uh, that's yeah, nice, i want to get one of the i want to get one of the 500s with a barrel like that yeah so I that's the set that's, that's, they're not fun that, to shoot <laughs> <laughs> that's the satin cool. finish right it is yeah it's a satin finish it's uh yeah. it's very nice that's a sexy gun. I'm sorry, man. That's, that's a, I really like the smooth cylinders on those performance centers. Yeah, the yeah. uncluded cylinder. I'm not a big revolver guy, but when it comes to revolvers like this, mm. sexy. Yeah. yeah. It's nice. Man. The owner revolver has got to be a sexy one. Have you, um, Sam, did you ever see the Kimber revolver? Do you have one of those? I did, yeah. The, uh, what's it called? The, um, I actually like that design. Yeah, what is the name of the Kimber? Called, but, oh, the, the I for it, but I like that design. I is think it, it was called the K something, yeah. Six S or something. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sounds familiar. Yeah. The K I, something. I, I um I saw it and then held it at Shot Show, I think. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's nice, man. It's nice, but I don't know. It's pr I mean, I find it a little bit overpriced. It's uh, what was it when you looked at it? Because I think it's supposed to be nine hundred bucks. Damn. Is it? Yeah, that's why. Well, I'm looking at the website. This doesn't look like the one that I remember. A little bit more, I can get that 500 Smith and Wesson. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't pay 900 for a Kimber revolver. No. Right. I mean, and and that's fine. I mean, I I like Kimber. Nothing against Kimber. I'm making that very clear up front. Um, but the um, you know, the examples that I saw, the finish and stuff, they were just not, you know, not a 900 dollar gun. Let me just put it that way. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. But hey, it's a beautiful looking revolver, you know, and um, and reviews are pretty good, you know. It shoots great, reliable. Yeah, but not nine hundred bucks, great. So, but if you saw it used for a lesser price, it uh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I okay. I consider it at about you know, seven hundred maybe. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, seven hundred. Okay. The way I see it, you know, um, why spend nine hundred when I can just go to the, you know, Smith and Wesson that makes the best revolvers and. You know, spend less than that for for something a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. I am, you know, it's, it's At that price. You can get some other performance shop. Exactly. Right. Yeah, you you're, you might as well get some Smith Performance for that price. And then you have then you have some lineage. If you decide you want to get rid of it, you can. You there can, you uh, go. Yeah. yeah. Um, I carry my revolver in single action. Says they got the three inch model now. So I mean, Kimber. You know, there is a there is a thing there. I mean, it's first of all, I don't like Kimber uh, 1911s. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, I don't care for much. Because because they have that break in that whole nonsense break in period thing that's like a thousand rounds plus. No. No. No break in periods on a thousand yeah. on, a, on a expensive handgun. No, no. Well, yeah. Well, they do. That's the thing with Kimber. But Kimber is supposed to be an upscale. No, no excuse. Isn't, for yeah, isn't Kimber like an upscale thing? No. I thought well, they can be. They're mediocre in the nineteen eleven world, I'd say. Oh, okay. You know, they're not out there with Wilson Combat or Les Bear or anything like that. But yeah, I was just going to say it depends on how you define upscale. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What's your okay. view of upscale? Yeah. Right? Okay. Um, but you know, you want to talk about a 1911? The uh, boom. So Wilson Combat EDC X9. Yeah. Wilson Combat, I like, man. Wilson Combats are always nice. Yeah. And they always. Wilson Combats don't have a breaking period, do they? No, uh, yeah. This, yeah, this is the double stack, 15 round, 15 round 1911. Breaking that's period. beautiful, man. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, it's um, have I shot one of these? relatively new, the EDC X9. Oh, the, okay, no, that, no, okay. Fluted barrel over here, let me Yeah, very you. nice, yeah. Fluted barrel over here. Yeah. Um, fiber front sight, you know. Um, Nice magwell there. Mm -hmm. So this is this is a carry, obviously, the like carry gun. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, Wilson Combat or like Nighthawk, or whatever, they'll give you right out of the box. They'll give you 
a guaranteed one MOA, sub one MOA at 25 yards. Yeah. And they're like, if it doesn't do that, you just send the gun back to us. You know, yeah. We'll send you a new one. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Arsenal616 said, the only Kimber I want is the stripper I met last night. <laughs> 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 That's it's cold. That's cold. You know, I could t let me tell you something about Wilson Combat while we're on this. Um, I think this is more than a year ago, probably like more than two years ago. I, I was at the uh, range, Gainesville Target range, and um, there was a guy that just bought a used uh, Wilson Combat uh, 45, right? And he's like, hey, do you want to shoot this gun do a video for it? I wasn't prepared to do a video, so I just had my phone. We're talking about the iPhone. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do a video. So I was going to go get ammo, and he came out with a couple boxes of ammo, and it was steel case. And I was like, okay, you, you sure you want me to shoot this steel case through this? He's like, dude, shoot it. So I, I shot the video using steel case and everything. The gun worked perfectly fine. There was zero problems with it. I thought it was awesome edited the video, put it up, and then everyone got real pissed off because I put steel case well, <laughs> through a Wilson combat. You know, I think I think maybe that's not something you'll want to run all the time, but you know, like I have a buddy who just bought a Les Bear 1911 a few months back, and, you know, they're over a $2,000 1911. And, you know, when I buy a gun, especially if I spend two grand, it better be able to run whatever I could put through it. And I'm not going to run steel cased all the time, but I want to know that it's going to do it, you know? Right. Yeah. I, I agree. If you're going to spend that kind of money, it's supposed to chew up anything. Yeah, exactly. And you don't have to feed it steel cased all the time. I know it's not good for it, but at least to know that it will do it, you know? Right. 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 It shouldn't break after 15 rounds of steel case. No, absolutely yeah. oh, not. No, no. no. Right. Yeah. I think it was a Wilson combat. I could be wrong. I should probably look that up before I make everyone go and, like, find that video. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I was totally wrong. I could tell you what gun it was right now that I did that to and I got into trouble. It <laughs> was a Bob Marvel Custom <laughs> Pistol Nighthawk. Oh, um, Nighthawk. There yeah, Nighthawk Custom from Bob Marvel. Uh, Bob Marvel. So that's, I don't know, that's probably even more expensive, right? A couple grand, I'd say, if it's a Nighthawk. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, everyone, if you look, if anyone wants to look at that video, it's the Bob Marvel Custom 1911 Pistol. Uh, the Nighthawk Custom. We'll have to watch that. Yeah, and that's like an old video with uh, Mr. Yakyaz, if you guys remember Yakyaz on my channel, my buddy. So, yeah, I got into a lot of trouble with it, but, it, it I'm, I mean, it ran steel case, so. Yeah. You know, yeah. I agree with you. That's not what I would put through it, but that, to me, is a sign of a good gun. On, yep. the, on the flip side of that, we had, um, you know, we had Kimbers, and no matter what we put through it. The jam. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I had a friend of mine that bought a used Kimber, and it was a jam and he, and, and they told him um, <laughs> that he hadn't shot enough rounds through it yet. Yeah, they said you have, it, you have to break it in and all that. So he bought it used. So who knows how much – most people aren't putting a lot of rounds through guns before they sell them, right? And something like that's a safe clean. So you know what my friend did? He brought it to me, and he was like, here you go, Hank Strange. You can shoot this on your channel all you want. <laughs> Boom jam. Yeah, so that I would spend the ammo to break it in. You know, and uh, by the time I gave it back to him, I don't think we hit that break-in period because there's a video with uh, the late Boy Scout, and we were trying to shoot that thing, and we still had problems with it. So, yeah, you know, do you have one more, Sam? Is that another one you got there? I see. Uh, no, that's just my. Um, that's just the Wilson Combat. No, I don't have another one. Uh, uh, you know, hold on, I can grab something. Hold on. Okay. Oh, Sam's. My son is saying that um, Bob Marvel on their site start at four grand. Wow. Yeah, maybe that's why people were mad at me. <laughs> There's no person myself. No, sorry. Not for 1911. No, no. That's yeah, this boy, this this guy, this guy bought it used. So maybe he paid three grand. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Just me. That's, you know. That's, um, yeah, I, I, I could see, you know, maybe 1500 bucks, 1600 you know, for some yeah. handmade custom quality 1911 but no but 1911s get way over that so for example did, the yeah. yeah the expensive ones that i've seen are from cabot guns yeah i've and, seen those <laughs> yeah cabot's gun ridiculous. starts at like 7500 they don't even let you um usually at shot show or you can't touch wherever. it anything yeah yeah you can't touch it so i always thought those are expensive and one day um the one jesse james was tied up with 
I don't know if Jesse James was tied up with them, but I actually went to this barbecue that had um, what's the name of that actor that did the martial arts stuff? Oh, Steven um, Seagal. Yeah. Steven Seagal was at this thing, and there was a guy there that made custom 1911s for Steven Seagal, and I was talking to him, and I was like, "Yeah, you know, the most expensive 1911s I've seen are Cabot guns at 7,500," and the guy laughed, and he was like, <laughs> "Yeah, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna make a 1911 for you, I have to like you." And if I like you and I decide to make a 1911 for you, it starts like at around 20,000. <laughs> Damn. So there's lots of really like, you know, we could complain about 4,000, but 1911s get ridiculous. Is this Cabot? Uh, the Cabot guns started like around 7,500, but there's people that make 1911s that go 20. I mean, I've actually seen with my own eyes. Uh oh. What were those twin 1911s that uh, Cabot Guns made? I think it was out of uh, Meteorite. Meteorite. Oh, I've seen that. The, yeah, I've seen that. I think it was Meteorite. Yeah, Meteorite. it was two of them, and it was like $2 million. Oh. Yep. <laughs> That's insane. I don't I don't care. I don't care if it get made out of unobtainium. Yep. Captain, Captain America's shield. <laughs> <I'm> not, <laughs> not no $2 million, no. They could have came off of Hitler's bed. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how much money you had, if you had billions, you still wouldn't spend that, huh? If I, I had billions, I would spend 20000 on a 1911. Why yeah, if I had, yeah, billions, yeah, for sure. Well, yeah, I guess it's all proportional, you know? Right. Yep. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'd have to think about it. <laughs> What else did yeah. you go over and grab there, Sam? Yeah, so yeah, what'd you get, Sam? Let's see. Uh, it. Just, uh, just gonna search some some polymer love, you know. Yeah, it's just a 320 TAC Ops. Okay, there you go. P320 TAC Ops version. Uh oh. Got the that comes with what? Threaded barrel, suppressor sights. Yeah, suppressor sights and uh, extended. Uh, I think it's 20 round mag. Yeah, 21 round mag. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I'm a I'm a big SIG fan as well. I've got loads of SIGs. So, um, did that one have to get to go back to SIG? You know, with all the stuff that happened with um the P320. This one here, yeah, this this one does. Is that a hammer fired SIG? That's a <laughs> that's a drop fire SIG. <laughs> so you did? Did you send it back yet, or you didn't? No, I did not. No. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I'm I'm gonna wait. You know, I'm. I think the whole SIG thing was probably just. A little bit blown out of proportion, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Kind of like the Toyota thing. Remember that? Right. That they yeah. they, they did things by themselves, but right. they could never document it doing it by itself. Right. Ever. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, I get you, and uh, I'm mm -hmm. I'm like, look, man, I'm just gonna wait for the whole thing, you know, for them to get through the backlog and stuff. I'm not in a hurry, you know. Um, yeah. This is not a gun that I'm going to carry anyway. I definitely don't intend on dropping it while it's loaded. Um, and you know, my own my my carry sigs. I've already changed the trigger and done done some of the work myself. So oh, is that what you carry? Yeah. Well, I I it's in my rotation, right? Okay. I've so got a, which, which one specifically is in the rotation for like EDC? Uh, three twenty uh P three twenty uh with a um with a Romeo sign on it. The red dot. Okay. Cool. So that's what, like the 320 RX, I think it is, something that's like that. Yeah. Oh, wait. Did you, is that the thing? Did you get that from Big Daddy Guns? <laughs> I didn't. No. no. Okay. I remember you, I remember there was something you bought from there. I bought a uh, P10, P10C 10 in Flat Dark Earth. Oh, okay. Cool. Those are hard oh, to right. find, man. The Flat Dark Earth P10Cs. Right. I bought that from Big Daddy Gun and like two, two days after it came in, a customer walked into my store and he's like, I've got a brand new P10C Flat Dark Earth that I want to trade in for a SIG. <laughs> <True. No. laughs> I'm like, great, now I've got two of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can either dual wield or share the love. I'm sure there's other people right. out there, you know. More more okay. poop, more poop color for the collection. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Babyface P says the that the gun comes with a flak jacket to protect from drop fires. <laughs> He's, 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 yeah, you know, baby face, he's in, he's in the chat trolling us right now. Yeah. I'm going to put so some bubble go. wrap around here. Look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure you'll be fine. Okay. You know, you guys have showed your stuff. I'm going to show, I don't know if anyone's noticed this gun here on the wall. This is the mod wall from tactical walls. What is that? 
for anyone who's curious, that's what this whole setup that we have going back here. So I'm going to take this off to show you guys. Check this out here. Let me lock this on me. There you go. Oh, I know what that is. This is the XAR Invicta folding rifle from F&D Defense. Yeah. Let me double check that. I think it's F&D Defense. Yes. Indeed, the XAR Invicta folding rifle. So there you go. Um, Hank, I kind of hate you right now. You did? <laughs> yeah, well, if you. you want one of these? I want one of those. <laughs> okay, well, you can actually buy this because this belongs to Big Daddy Guns. Oh, it does? Yes, it does. And um, I'm just showing them off because two came into the store. So there's two different ones. This one comes with this um, Hazard 4 bag. And I believe this is the um, – because I've got a bag like this. What is the name of this bag? This what's, is the street, the, what's the street price on that thing? Um, this is the sling pack. Well, this I think it's it's supposed to be uh, 2500 Right. So uh, maybe Big Daddy Guns can uh, cut you a deal if you really want one. Yeah. But anyway, so they come with two different um, cases. So you can get either the bag, the soft pack, the Hazard 4 sling bag, or right. you can get a Pelican case that it comes with. So right. Right. I'll throw up some pictures on Instagram later of the Pelican case. So it comes with that, with the bag, this, you know, and basically what you do, it's side folding. So you guys can see that. So it's side folding and it locks in here into this thing. Side folds like that. Yeah. You pull it out. So now what you want to do in order to close it, you're going to have to have your bolt locked back. So we're going to lock it back My here. baby face, I don't ship gold, 2,500. Yeah. So wow. is that what ba yeah, baby face is still still with the comments. Well, no, so basically, I, I, so, so here's your handle, right? So you hook this handle. If you see here, there's a hook right here. So this goes under. Let me see. I haven't really. I think I did this once to test get your, it. Get while your we hand meat stuck in yeah. there. Yeah, and don't get yeah, don't get your hand meat meat pinched in here or anything because it won't be fun. So there you go. Now it's locked in, and uh, you know it's not loaded. I don't know. I'm feeling scar for twenty five hundred dollars. So right. there we go. It, it is a bit pricey. It's pretty cool though. I think once the newness wears off, maybe it'll come down a little bit. Right. Yeah. It has a. It's it's very lightweight. It's relatively lightweight. It has a pencil. Very is it piston thin. operated? It must be piston operated, right? Because uh, I don't know how you get that tube in there when it twists like that. So yeah, I don't have any idea about that. Um, you would I would think have to, so, but I don't think so. I don't think it is. It doesn't yeah. feel. I don't feel like there's a piston in there. It doesn't feel <laughs> heavy like that. But I mean, we could always look in there and find out. And so yeah. to to fold it, it's the same thing. You got to lock it back. Try to avoid. Now you got to get this out of here without getting your your hand meat. Is that what you call Tore it? off by that M lock yeah. or, or the key mod. Yeah, hand meat is something different to me. I don't know about you guys. It's called <laughs> knuckle knuckle skin. When I think hand hand meat to meat, I think something else. But whatever. Okay. Well, that's so. because it's in your hand a lot. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So you have to get that out with like a you know, with a shell casing or something. You flip it down like that, and then um, to to you're gonna have to use your knee here. To, to break it open like yeah. that. There you go. So that's what's inside. That's why I don't really think we're dealing. I don't think we're dealing with a piston. Yeah, you got a piston. Oh, I bet. I bet. Let I me bet see. We're dealing with a. And maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I can't be wrong. Uh, maybe not. Let me look at the stats. Let me look at the stats here on the thing and see. Um, Joe Carpenter said that's ten midget hookers. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Hmm. What would I rather have? The midget hookers. Ten midget hookers. Ten midget. Yeah. Hookers. Would I rather have ten midget hookers, or this one gun? <laughs> I tell um, you what, the video with ten midget hookers would get a lot more likes. <laughs> you can buy all sorts of them things. That video is definitely getting demonetized. I can tell you that. So you're not gonna get your uh, investment back. You know, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> ten midget hookers. <laughs> Yeah. Isn't that isn't that a Yankee Marshall thing, midget hookers? Yes, I think so. <laughs> I think that's what they're referring to. Right. Yeah. Original six sixteen says that's a midget hooker bargain. So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't um I, I don't really think this is piston, but I could be wrong. Maybe it yeah, is. Yeah, I, I maybe I'm jumping yeah. to conclusions, but yeah, maybe it's a lightweight piston in there. I don't know. And since um Big Daddy Guns is selling it, I don't want to like start taking it apart. <laughs> no, we don't want to destroy that thing. Yeah, and messing something up or whatever. But I thought I'd show that to you guys. Other than that, it's just a regular uh it's just a regular gun, pretty much. 
So yeah. like, it looks like it takes mostly, you know, factory AR parts, stock, grip, yeah. trigger, yeah. I'd imagine. Absolutely, yeah. That's what it looks like to me. Um, you know, little people. <laughs> I'm sure what a lot of people are going to ask out there is like, can they just buy the upper part or whatever for that money and build their own gun? Because like you're saying, you know, all the other parts are just regular parts. So I don't see. Yeah, the lower is probably standard lower. Yeah. So What's most of that money of what you're paying is probably, I'm going to say most of that money you're paying for everything that's going up on up here. Right. And, and back here, you know, and it's folding. So that's it. I mean, the rest of this stuff here, they're probably just throwing it in, to be honest with you. But I don't know. I don't know if it would be cheaper if they just made it an upper. Do you know if um, they, I can't remember, but do you know if they make that in 308? Um, I think so. I think on the website I saw something about a 308. So if they don't make it right now, I think they're coming out with it. Because if you look at the website, there's the XAR, which this is the FD338. Yeah, I think yeah. it's the 308 one, but I'm not, I don't know if that's folding. Kevin Brady says direct impingement. So, yeah, um, no, the 308 doesn't look folding to me. Yeah, it is not. not no, me. it doesn't look like it's folding to me. So this is the only one that's folding. Right. So you know, um, and I believe I could be wrong here, but I believe Mac has some kind of video out on this because hmm. Mac has all the cool guns. Mm. Yeah, so I think he has a video out on it for anyone that's looking for that. So check out Max's channel. He probably has way more details than we do on there. So, you know, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. That's, that's cool. something that's cool that was in the store. The um, detachable barrel, foldable barrel thing is kind of the yeah one of the things. Now, Selling so. point, yeah. 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 Now, is that a 16-inch barrel? Yeah, it looks like uh, your regular 16, yeah. Right. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, yeah. maybe, you know, this you can put this in a pretty small package here. I know that people were asking, um, my brother specifically said that he would like it if you could do this and then also put on the folding. Um, law Tactical? Yeah, the Law Tactical. I think the Law Tactical folds this way. Right. So no, it wouldn't work. Yeah, one of them folds towards your hand there. Yeah. yeah it'd it'd, like, it'd come right. out like a Z. Yeah, it, yeah, it wouldn't out. work. It wouldn't work. <laughs> it's it's challenging. Just put it that way. Challenging. So I mean that I mean if I don't know like how much do you want to like like do you want to put your uh, your AR in your pocket? Uh, <laughs> can I can I just, can I make a small suggestion? What? Rattler. Rattler. Make this smaller, right? Just a rattler, sig rattler. Mm -hmm. Oh, instead of doing all of this, or, this or a PDW. I uh, you yeah. know I can build you an AR PDW that size. So. Yeah. Listen, I you know. There's but that's just me. That's yeah. Just me. There's people out there that say things, you know, like when we put up the uh, we put up the uh, PPSH shorty video. Oh, and there's hate there was, for that too. Yeah, there were people who were hating on it and saying that you oh, ruined yeah, the yeah, perfectly yeah. good gun. Why does it need to be short? And no, the perfectly good one's still the one I shoot. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so yep. you got you got best of both worlds there. That's see, being a class two, it doesn't matter. I can take a pile of parts and weld it back together and. Yep. Yeah, you know. But also, listen, if fun is the purpose or if it's just, hey, I want that, that's a purpose. That's all you I'm, need. You know it. That's if, all you if, need. If, if, if that thing, you know, it's kind of like spending four grand on a 1911. May the force yep. be with you. Yep. You know, yeah. you know, if you want a cup of tea, that's, you know, I. Yeah. Yeah. I'm two, two want to do it. You're, you know, you're, you got the, you got the $2,000 set of wheels on your $500 car. <laughs> hey, go for it. You yep. Know? <laughs> Yeah. What were you gonna say, Sam? I was gonna say that yeah, like, like I I don't see a personally. It's not that I don't see a practical use for it. You know what I mean? Uh, there probably is, but I could achieve that with maybe just a folding stock, right? Um, if I want, you know, to make it compact, or I could just get a pistol, you know. Um, but mm -hmm. like um, Walter was saying, like I I get one just because I want one. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's it, there's a lot of uh, the design stuff is cool. You know, I like things like mechanisms and hinges, and yeah. I like to see it how it all works. You know, yeah, right. I agree with that. I think it's pushing it's pushing the game forward. Go ahead, yeah. go ahead, Sam. To achieve that right at the chamber, you know, that's that's pretty cool engineering, right? Right, right, right. right. It's very precise. Okay, right. uh, for obvious reasons. Um, so, like I said, I probably just want one because I just want one. I want to. I'm not going to buy it because for practical reasons because there's other stuff out there that can do 
the same, if not better, for much less money. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, I think I agree with that, and I like to see people pushing the envelope and and making new things and all that kind of stuff. And who knows? Maybe that mechanism we use it for something else. Right. You know, yeah. we we find some other application for it, or we come up with something that it works great for. You know. Right. And right. so. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And yes, all these things, it's up to you, you know. A lot of people would say, like, why do you need a supercar? Why do you need a 700 yeah. horsepower or 800,000 horsepower car? Because right. I want it. Because yeah. you, you, you can afford it. Um, no. That's not always the case. Who, who gives a crap if you could <laughs> afford it or not? Well, you won't have it very long if you really can't afford it. <laughs> right. You'll yeah. give the repo guy something to do. Uh, maybe, maybe. You know. you know, I guess we all buy stuff that we don't really need. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, need is need is a you know that's all. You can live in a one bedroom, a no bedroom house, or sleep in right. a in a tent outside and pee in the yard. You know, it's right. right. You know. Yeah, need I'm is relative. Like yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, tell that to the starving babies in Africa. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, I'm not in Africa, so I can't yeah. tell them. Well, I'm just, I'm, it's, it's a figure of speech. Walter. I understand. I understand. It's a figure of speech. Look at all food. We, yeah. we could keep digging into that one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Very cool. So, um, was there anything else you guys wanted to talk about here? Let's see. No. Any, um, you know, did we miss any other cool things that happened today? I'm trying to look up and see. Uh, you know what's going on in the news if we missed out on anything uh, happening in the news married science teacher arrested for sex romp with teen boy student again it's the same story every day there's a new one every day just like yeah. yep yeah some of these teachers are out of controls um you know of course um yeah those teachers were never around when i was in school though you'll see like the hot <laughs> high school teacher that had sex with a freshman and it's like, where were they at when I was in high school, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know what? That all sounds sexy, but I don't think you really want that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you really want to, because you, you never know, man. That could turn, you know, like, back in the, wasn't there something in the 80s with a teacher who did that, and then she convinced that, was it the 80s or the 90s, and she convinced this kid to, like, try to kill her husband or something? Oh, that was uh, Mary Jo Kopechny, wasn't it? Was that... Yeah, was that in the eighties or nineties? Oh, somebody cut somebody's pecker off or something. I don't know. No, 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 no. There was there was there was like the teach look, there's always there's all kinds of weird things going on. Yeah. That yeah. all sounds that all sounds great until someone tries to do that to your kids. So I don't Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't want anyone messing with my kids for any reason. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So I don't even care if it, it to other people it oh, sounds all awesome. Thanks, strange. There's Ram Puck pickup secret revealed. Oh, there's, there's a, a new a Ram box. pickup truck. They're showing some secret, uh, like uh, you know how they drive around the cars with camouflage on them, you know, with yeah. like, stickers and stuff. There's a, I guess there's something with a Ram pickup that's on Fox. For the Ram trucks, it's on Fox. Fox. The 2019 Ram 1500. Innovative, a innovative new tailgate splits. In the middle. Uh, uh, it's like a suburban then. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna. <clears throat> that was innovative. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I like the uh, I like the tailgate on the Raptor. That's pretty cool. Have you seen that? The Raptor. What's it do? The Ford Raptor. So the tailgate when it when you bring the tailgate down, you know, you usually have to try to climb up in there. Right, right. right. The Raptor has like this little step that comes out and a little old man handle. Oh, it's got snowflake steps. Yeah, you can hold on to the handle and <laughs> climb up in there. For those sensitive types. <laughs> can't you yeah. put that on the Ram? Um, no, I haven't seen that on the Ram. Right. The, like my Ram, um, it, it's on airbag, so you could drop it down. Right. Huh. Oh, that makes the, it a the reason easier. for their extended tailgate is for like those folks that that need a real truck and they get something too big to put in the back of their small little truck. Oh, you're talking about the extended thing. Yeah, so it just yeah. hangs out the back and that kind yeah, of. Yeah, I've got that. Yes, you can get that. I've got that. Because nobody gets an eight foot bed anymore. Well, because a crew cab is way better. <laughs> Like I said, nobody gets an eight foot bed. Anyway, yeah, so. you know the crew cab's friggin' awesome, man. Yeah. So I think that to me, if you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna go that route, you might as well go the crew cab. Um, here's one quick little news thing that. Um, well, there's a couple of things. Did you guys? Uh, I know we were talking about it a little bit. We touched on it before. Someone in the chat said that this guy in California that just went on this recent thing. He used ghost ARs. Did you guys know that he used like eighty percenters because he he couldn't legally own anything. Which guy? Which guy? So was the guy in California. 
recently that was that guy who killed like five people or something. Yeah. Right. Um, I don't really want to say his name or anything like that. He made his own then. Yeah. So he basically bought the eighty percenters, and you know the news is calling it ghost guns, which you know yeah that's what they call it, and that's how he did what he did. I don't you know to me personally that doesn't make any difference. People will get their hands on things. That guy was crazy. Yeah. So and and here's an example of why people can get their hands on things. This is in Arizona in Saharita. Saharita, Arizona, which I never heard of. Officer disciplined after losing SWAT rifle on duty. <laughs> so a Saharita motorcycle officer has been disciplined after losing a SWAT rifle while on patrol in May. The fully automatic wow. rifle. Why was he riding around with a full <laughs> little gun on his motorcycle? <laughs> so the fully automatic rifle with a 10-inch barrel, so full auto and SBR, has yeah. not been recovered. The officer was on call in Madeira Highlands about noon, May 25th, when a fellow officer noticed the rifle rack on his motorcycle was empty. Why has he got a machine gun <laughs> on a motorcycle? That's crazy. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. So the officer retraced his steps but was unable to find the rifle. Around the same time, other Sarita Sor officers heard a Pima County Sheriff's deputy being dispatched to a call about a man removing a rifle from the street near... Saharita Road and, and Country Club, according to the report, reports. So, so someone saw, like he, it probably just fell off his bike. It wasn't secured in there, and um, and it fell off. And then someone picked it up, but they couldn't, they couldn't find that guy. Dang. Well, because he hightailed it, man. Yeah. Bingo! I got a machine gun. I'm out of here. <laughs> Full so, of SBR. I'm out of here. See you yeah. later. If they ever, if if that guy's watching and you're in Arizona, if they ever catch up to you, they're gonna put you under the prison. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and then what happens to the cop who loses the gun? Well, he was suspended. He'll get another one though. Yeah. yeah. Well, probably got. Well, it says here disciplined. I I, I shouldn't say <laughs> suspended. Bad cop. Yeah. Bad cop. Yeah. He received what? documented counseling for losing Bad the cop. rifle. Yeah. You must put the strap much. over the gun when you. <laughs> but riding it. around on a motorcycle with a full auto SBR, that's pretty intense. <laughs> well, Never you know, I, I guess in case they get into something, you know, figure. <laughs> yeah. The motorcycle guys see. could probably get there pretty fast, but yeah, that should definitely be secured. They need yeah. a better way of securing those things, but you know, <laughs> I mean, they have a box usually on those or, or a saddlebag type arena. Yeah. or even like better, that. we all just need to be able to defend ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean, that's that's the thing. It's one of the things that, uh, you know, it's yeah. one of the things that happen. All right. So, uh, Louis uh, LV Louis Cipher says, in some parts of Arizona, you need to be that well armed, and I and I, and that's true. Well, along the border, you do. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so there you go. Okay, we've been doing this for two hours. So, you know, I think it's been a good chat. We can probably call yeah. it a wraps on this. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let everyone go through and uh, uh, plug some things real quick. Um, Kenny, I'm going to let you go last so everyone remembers what you have to say. We'll let you get the last word. Sam, go ahead, my friend. Yeah, well, thanks for having me on, man. This is, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's great to be here. It's really my first live chat. Our first cool. ever. Like we have a, we have yeah. a we have Thanks a, for letting us pop that cherry. You better get a <laughs> tattoo. You better get a tattoo that says uh, who moved my freedom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh it's gonna be, man, we gotta do this again. Um uh yeah, just uh you know if you're you're out there, uh, follow us on Instagram. We uh we do a lot of Instagram stuff and uh you know I'm sure you'll hear more from us through like military arms and, and Hank Strange and all the other guys. So yeah, thanks for thanks for having me on. Oh, you're welcome, man. Thanks for thanks for coming on. It's been great. And yes, we would absolutely love to have you come back and talk about guns, t-shirts, whatever stuff that's going on in the news, whatever you want to. Walter, you know, yes, yes gorillas and guns. By the way, Sam says don't forget his t-shirt idea. Uh, what t-shirt idea? So that's the one about um. Oh, that's about the one the about. Stuff. Stuff. Stop Moms Demand Action. Moms Demand Action. So. Yeah, so, yeah, well, actually, it's Moms Demand Action. So I think his idea was on one side, it says Moms Demand Action. And then the other side, it says, uh, what was it? I'll have to scroll back and look at it. It was like, because well, uh, um, like they're not that. getting any at home or something yeah. like that. <laughs> something like that. Stuff like that. And, you know, it's 
It's uh, you know what? Just email me at uh, forgefromfreedom at gmail.com and in the subject line, just put for attention of Sam. Yeah. Okay. And All I'll, right, cool. I'll, I'll pick it up. Yeah, and if he doesn't want to do it, well, um, I think Lola probably what remembers what it is, or we'll figure it out, or send it to me again, or something. Whatever you want to do, you can get in touch with Sam directly. So there you go. Um, all right. So now, Walter, what's going on with you, my friend? What's going on. Well, uh, getting ready for that um, holiday weekend coming up, and the uh, Black Friday special we're doing on all our stocks, um, including the uh, steel socks that we make for the fifty cals, but they work good on other guns too. But um, yeah, that doing that Facebook, Instagram, you know, yeah. working on that uh, MP5K stock too. Keep an eye out for that. That's coming too. Okay, cool. Um, Actually, Gorillas and Guns says he was talking about another T-shirt. Okay, you guys are gonna have to email Sam, or send me or Lola a message on that because there's probably a ton of T-shirts. Okay, shut up and play your guitar. Says that was his idea. Beef. Gorilla <laughs> stealing his idea. Gorilla, gorilla. Gorillas and Guns had his own idea. There's tons of T-shirt ideas floating around right now. We can't keep track of it. <laughs> I like. Hey, I like. You know what? I, I like make Walter a half cocked T-shirt. You, know you know what we should do? We should uh, one day we should. Uh, I we should have uh, people submit their ideas here in the chat, and yeah, then we'll, we'll pick one that we'll make, and then that person like we'll give them like a like a gift card or something you know what i mean and so the best them. idea kind of thing yeah, yeah. And then the best idea and then we'll send him like a free t-shirt and sweatshirt with with his his design idea on it that'd be oh, pretty cool. good. sweet yeah i like that idea i think we should get make a t-shirt for walter that says uh i'm half cock do you want to trigger me <laughs> 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 that's my idea submission right there <laughs> bless your heart <laughs> Uh, well, okay. Would you rock that shirt? Uh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be so awesome, Walter. You can wear that to Hooters. <laughs> when, you, when you go into Hooters, you probably get free wings. <laughs> <laughs> Just off of that, <laughs> or something else that you might not like. Okay. So, did you finish? Did you finish plugging your stuff, Walter? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm okay. Done. Awesome. All right. So, before we get to Kenny, I'm going to let Kenny get the last word here. Um, I want to thank everyone for, for watching the chat, all the folks who are in the chat. Thank you very much. We want to thank the people that support us, specifically those who support us on uh, Patreon. We're Patreon slash Hank Strange. Of course, if you're interested in Forge from Freedom, we do have a link in the description that takes you to the um, Hank Strange collection. But there's lots of other um, cool collections on there for Military Arms Channel. Uh, 22 Plankster, I guess, is on there now. VSO, all, all kinds of folks are going to be up on there. So. Make sure you check out Forge from Freedom. And, um, you know, I want to thank uh, Safety Harbor Firearms, Rand CLP, Andrew's Custom Leather, of course, Big Daddy Guns that sponsors the show. Yes, so now let's go to this guy here, Glock Guy 226. Make sure you people subscribe to Glock Guy 226. Well, go. thanks. I appreciate it, man. It's It's been fun on the live chat. This was also my first live chat, so. It was a cool experience. Awesome. Uh, I do appreciate it. Yeah, we also popped your cherry, Kenny, and we expect yeah. to see tattoos. <laughs> I'll get the tramp so, stamp. Going. Yeah, you were you were in you were in a menage. <laughs> I got some. I got some strange with Hank. That's yeah, funny. your cherry got popped in a gangbang, basically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no man it's been a good time and uh yeah you know instagram facebook youtube glock guy 226 and uh i try to stay active so yeah absolutely man and you're a great guest we love to see you come on if you've got some things you want to talk about please feel free to come on again you know um did you did you run down just go down through your social media stuff again and then we will get throw up the peace signs all right yep on instagram Glock Guy 226, Facebook, Twitter, Glock Guy 226, and definitely check out my YouTube channel, Glock Guy 226. All right, cool. And what's the next video you have coming up? Um, next videos I have coming up are going to be some Benelli M4 stuff. Awesome. Very cool. All right. So thanks, guys. We're out of here. Peace. Stay right there, everyone on the panel.